Are you tired of going out in public looking like a stupid bastard? Well, not anymore. Cover up your shame and let JP put his fun time inside you with Egotastic Tease. What are you waiting for? Click on the link below to get wet with fashion. I'm going to like the way you look. Egotastic Tease! Hello, Orvillians, and welcome to a very special edition of Talking to Orville, a new series on Talking to Orville that we're going to be doing every month for 2024 and maybe beyond. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the Orville role-playing game, the Orville RPG. Uh, we have the creator of the Orville RPG here. It's going to join us here in just a second. Cyber Symbiosis, known also as Woody, for those of you who are hip and cool. Exciting news for the Orville. We now know the Orville unofficially, officially, has been picked up for a fourth season. That's right. The Orville is not done with you, you guys. And I'm not done with the Orville. I want to keep talking about it. And we're going to be getting more Orville when they can get back in the studio. But I know it's going to be an ASAP situation once uh, contracts has, have been fulfilled and obligations have been fulfilled. I know they're looking forward to getting back into the studio to make some more cool space stuff for us. Now let's get this game started. Let me bring on the players that we, that we have today. Uh, we, I'm just going to bring them all on at once. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Boom. Here are our players. What's going on? Alex, Chaz, Woody, cyber symbiosis. And uh, Alex is playing a character called Cheshire. And Chaz is playing in Kwama Kohili Schwartzkopf, a.k.a. Benny. What's going on, you guys? Hello. <laughs> thank you for having you us. You did that on. perfect, by the way. Oh, thank you. I was like, you know what? I think I remember how to read. Okay. Let me just yeah. spell it out. It's, it can be a phonetic situation. <laughs> so what are we doing today, guys? I, I'm a noob. I am, I am the yeah. newbiest of noobs, the, the greenest of noobs, not as green as uh, a gelatin character, Benny. But I'm right. pretty green. And uh, so, uh, Woody, why don't you tell us what's going on here today? Start us off. Okay. Well, uh, first, I wanted to acknowledge Chaz for finally coming up with a short name. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I read it. So it's yeah. not too long. <laughs> All right. Well, we are going to be playing a. Oh, a, oh good Lord. I don't even have my prop ready. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm on top of it. Uh, okay. So, so um, props. Yes. Yeah, okay, so uh, I have this, the Cyber Symbiosis role-playing game, uh, which you can uh, pick up at uh, miniaturedragon.com. And uh, yes, and then you have your character sheet book. So uh, we do a comic book series called Cyber Symbiosis, uh, which we've been working on since uh, 2015. And there's a bunch of content, and we are releasing a role-playing game this year. And we are using that uh, framework, uh, which is uh, a 5e-compatible uh, role-playing game, to play the Orville. And I have spent the nice. last cranking out content, um, frustrating my wife with how much time I spent at the computer. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, people are going to be wanting this type of gameplay as we wait for the Orville season four to come out, and we can watch it. It's going to be a little while, so we might yeah. as well fill our time with some awesome Orville-inspired yeah. uh, uh, play. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, as I think I mentioned uh, in our, our episode zero, this will be taking place in between seasons two and three. And I would be making every effort not to violate continuity, but there's a lot of space in there to tell some interesting stories. And uh, we are going to get started. So, uh, okay, so so J JP, for, for you, yeah. just to, I'm sure the audience knows what's going on. But uh, so I, I, I sent you some dice. I don't. Yes, I got I got so much dice. I'm sure I don't need all of this dice, but I have uh, lots of dice. Yes. And I got so, my yeah. my twelve sided dice in the little bowl here. Nice. Yeah. So we 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 sent you a dice care package. Um, <laughs> so what's going to happen uh, since you're kind of new is that uh, I'm going to as the game master I'll I'll be running the stream at this point. And then uh, I will be uh, setting the stage for the scenario. And then uh, you will be joining with these fellows in uh, basically deciding what your character does uh, based upon the setup. And we just move the story forward. And whenever there's critical decision making uh, or events, uh, the dice will sometimes be used to resolve how those things turn out. Uh, okay. 
combat situations. You'll uh, you, you'll you'll be using that that D twenty a lot. So, and then uh, we'll 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 just uh, help you along as as you have questions. And uh, all right, I'm sure I'll have a lot of questions and a lot of comments. <laughs> And uh, hopefully, uh, we'll have an opportunity for for the audience to join in and maybe uh, uh, help us make a few dis critical decisions. Um, I'm not seeing a chat here. Does that mean we don't have one anyone talking yet? Or I would think people are. Oh no, we have lots of people talking. Uh, there should be a comments tab on the upper right yeah. of uh, oh. Streamyards. Yes, and I, oh, I have to join it. Or maybe I don't. Okay, and I also want to welcome not only YouTube but also there are a lot of uh, awesome people tuning in on uh, Twitch right now. So yeah. welcome Twitch and welcome YouTube. Uh, yes, I recognize a few of these names. Hello, Chris. Hello, Mike. I do. Do I see? Let's see now. Well, ho hopefully Dwight will show up <laughs> soon enough <laughs> uh, if he hasn't already. Okay. Well, great. We got quite the audience. All right. So um, here's how we begin. We're going to start with you, JP. Okay. Uh, Jay Puglia was my character's name. Puli, that's correct. Uh, oh, and um, <laughs> nice. for anyone watching, um, so we're not going to be messing around with the Discord server right now because we don't really have a good solution for a moderator, and I kind of like to avoid that if we can. So if you guys uh, pop over to the uh, Cyber Symbiosis uh, Facebook page, which um, might I, be I, in I, the I, description, Alex, can, can 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 you put a link to that in the chat for me? Uh, let me give it a try. And if it doesn't let you, just send it to the private chat, and I'll put it up for you. Okay. So, like uh, so what we're doing is we're going to be running a um, a photo gallery in the Cyber Symbiosis chat uh, or Facebook page, uh, which because um, where I'll be posting pictures of of things that happen uh, as, as you know, if I have a map down, we have something with the miniatures. Um, I I'm not a big fan of using video because it's very uh, hard to get in close on the action sometimes. And I've also had situations where you have to put the camera far enough away to see everything that the players can't tell where they are. And so mm. I personally uh, enjoy the theater of the mind approach and combining that with good photographs where I can really get in tight sometimes and show people what's happening. So I will be uploading lots of photos to that gallery. And uh, anyone uh, who was um, listening into the show is welcome to comment all they like. P please keep it family friendly if, if you can. Um, or, or you know, maybe thin a, family a, friendly. Yeah, yes. Or, or if if you any of my friends who are watching want to put a private dig against me, I won't be offended. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, JP, J. Pulio. Yes, that's me. You, you are a uh, lower decker type type character. You are posted to a ship, uh, which we are um, calling the USS Redenbacher, and okay. it is yes. <laughs> Yeah, don't don't tell me that ship doesn't exist. Okay, <laughs> that name pops. <laughs> yes, and uh, oh shoot, um, grab a notebook here. So um, your post of the Renbacher is a uh, small uh, support class vessel, um, it was part of the Union fleet, and uh, you are waking up in your your hallway uh, bunk, and you uh, you know your shift is starting soon, and you roll over and look out the window and see a nebula out in space out outside of your porthole. And as you do, a Krill battlecruiser drifts by. And then as the uh, camera pans back away from the ship, we see your face in the window, and it pulls back to see a uh, pretty decent-sized fleet, a combined fleet of both Planetary Union and Krill battleships forming okay. up in the nebula. And that is the uh, first two pictures I, I placed in the um in in the in our, our facebook photo gallery if anybody wanted to take a peek at that now entering porthole yes and uh <laughs> so um for anyone who's curious uh the ships that are used in this are actually leftovers from a, a board game i created which may one day get released who knows um they are uh a collaboration with the voyage trekkers uh web series um, if anyone would like to check that out, uh, I just did not have time to create ships that look like planetary union vessels um, for those game pieces. So, uh, anyways, the uh, the ones with the um, multiple drive pods are going to be uh, planetary union, and the other ships you see that are more triangular are going to be krill vessels. Okay. And uh, again, I will as we go. I will have better props, I promise. But for now, we're. Uh, I just say th thank you, Nathan Blackwell, for being a good sport and providing me with ships. So um, now uh, you are getting up out of your bunk 
and okay. you have a mission briefing in uh, in 30 minutes. And okay. uh, is there anything you want to do on the way there? Um, you know, you'll obviously have a chance to, you know, get in the sonic shower. You can put on your uniform. You know, you'll you'll have a uh, kind of like a drawer beneath your bunk where you can keep personal effects. Well, I want to put my clothes on. Okay. And and I want to get to work. I don't know if I have time for a sonic sh a shower. Uh, I'm sure you do, and you probably have. You, you, you'll uh, the mission briefing um, will be what you have to be to first. Then after that, you'll be able to go to to the dining hall for for breakfast. Okay. So, well, I, I need to get I need to get up. I need to get sonic showered, wash all those pheromones off, exactly. and uh, get my uniform on, and then uh, have a little something, little something, something to eat. Yes, and and don't don't, don't forget your uh, your pheromone control medication as well. Keep, keep, oh, I need my pheromone control. Yes, yeah. Yes, it will keep you from going into heat unnecessarily. You don't want to, you know, be uh, you you you, you don't want to be the Her source of an HR complaint. Yeah, I don't need a bunch of people <laughs> following me to my station. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right, so I just want I just want to get up, get, uh, get ready for for uh, my uh, for work, and uh, yeah. have a little something to eat on the way. All right, cool. So, um, when you arrive. Uh, straightening up a uniform, you walk into the briefing and there are a number of officers in the room. Uh, you definitely see Benny, uh, Chaz's character, uh, slithering himself into a chair. And it's a collection of, uh, of uh, soldier uh, soldiers, uh, basically Marines, and uh, various uh, um, specialists that are assigned, uh, you're going to be assigned to do special missions. Um, Alex's character is not in the room. We will be addressing that, that fact shortly. And okay. uh, you, you take your seat and a... Uh, uh, lieutenant comes up. So um, the lieutenant who's actually conducting the briefing is a giant tardigrade creature. Um, would someone like to give this character a name? We uh, He's of the same race as Unk, the uh, tardigrade alien from there. Let's call him Chunk. Chunk, okay, Lieutenant Chunk. <laughs> that seems strangely appropriate given the size of those things. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, so he, so, um, so we're, we're, gonna, we're, we're making a few assumptions uh, based upon the te you know, technology, um, but the uh, on, in, in the ship, they do are, are going to have a full uh, uh, universal translator system running okay. um, through, through the master computer. So everybody is going to have like a little audio device in their ear that automatically translates. So you don't necessarily have to know all the languages. So when Chunk starts speaking, you will even though you, we hear it in his grunty whatever language he does, it's going to translate as the what, what what you need to hear, right? Okay. And then uh, of course a similar uh, system is put into Benny's body uh, using nanomachines that kind of like translate what that into vibrations that his external layer can 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 process. Okay. So and so uh, uh, Chunka, uh, when when um, you know you arrive, then a couple more people show up and take their seats, and he says. Uh, all right, this, um, welcome everyone. We're going to um, begin the briefing now. And he turns around and uh, indicates the screen and it shows the um, uh, map of the local star system where you guys are nearby. You guys are essentially rallying one sector over from a planetary system. He okay. Says, All right, so four days ago, uh, Union Central detected this and it zooms in and you see a space station over the local star. It's a, an orange star, uh, a, a little smaller than Earth's sun, and it shows a space station um, hovering, or, or I guess, in, in a position above the, the, what would be like the North Pole of the star, drawing okay. material from it. And he says, this is a star mining operation that has been set up by the Kalon. And we have been detecting numerous Kalon ships coming and going from this location, and we don't know what it is they're building, but Union Central has ordered us to put a stop to it. Due to uh, fleet movements and the conflicts going on, we did not have enough ships available to deal with this crisis right now. And so a um, the Krill had been invited to participate in a joint task force, and they accepted. Um, this, uh, this system is close to both borders, so it was uh, uh, an ideal opportunity for us to contribute to the ongoing uh, peace treaty negotiation. Okay. So, um, yeah, and uh, if, if you examine your path, you'll see uh, each of you has duty assignments. Uh, in, in, um, part of this also requires that we have a Krill observer on board the ship. So certain security assets are being redistributed for internal security and to escort and um, our guests to make sure that they're safe. So some of you are going to be assigned 
primarily to um, to security assignments um, while while we uh, prepare for for the upcoming battle. Um, once things uh, get started, uh, some of you will be um, have other uh, other uh, mission assignments that that you will be uh, focusing on. And he um, uh, directs, but starts directing particular groups. Focuses on uh, on Jay Pooley and Benny, and and basically explains that the two of you are going to be uh, working together on on a security assignment for the next few hours. And then when the battle takes place, you guys will be assigned to damage control. And okay. if, if we manage to reach a point where the we're able to break through the line and make a direct assault on the on the uh, on the base, the two of you will be part of an assault team that takes a Type One shuttle in, and uh, we'll we'll be doing an assault on on the facility proper to to deploy uh, ch explosive charges and blow it up. That sounds good. Yeah. So that he says at least that's the plan it's <laughs> that's that's so we'll see how it goes but we yeah. do not want to endanger this possible treaty we might be getting with the krill at this point in the timeline yeah and then he says absolutely so you guys have your assignments uh i recommend you get to it you'll have uh one hour for uh for chow hall and then uh get get to work and he says uh, everyone's dismissed and uh you guys are, are all turned loose, and there's of course murmuring in the room as people leave and so forth. So, um, so Jay Pulio and Benny, you guys are assigned to a uh, security detail where you guys will be uh, guarding a special prisoner in the brig. Okay. Yeah. Aye, aye, sir. Yeah. So, um, if you guys would like to, uh, uh, you guys should probably interact with each other now. Let's uh, get to know each other a little bit, have a little small talk. Um, on 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 your way to having breakfast. So, hey, Benny, uh, what do you think about this uh, this uh, person of interest that we have to uh, deal with that we have to protect? Well, <laughs> I'll do my best. Well, you better do your best. We we have to we have to get that we have to get promoted at some point. We can't be lower deckers forever. Oh no, we'll get there. We'll get there. All right. Well, if, if all else fails, I'll just throw a little bit of uh, pheromone action uh, towards whatever problem <laughs> might come our way. Yeah, that only works if your commanding officer is uh, is female, right? Uh, it works for anybody. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. That is true. Uh, okay, so. Um, uh, the the, the you, your guys as data pads do not specify the identity of the prisoner um it just simply has the duty assignment um and uh but you guys will be uh um you guys basically have an hour so, so um if there's anything you guys want to specify that you're doing um we can address that or we can fast forward after uh you know chow hall and you guys can move move to the security station for for your uh, duty assignment for the next few hours well we've we've, been, we've become fast friends uh, but it is a little strange to be on secure on security when I really just want to fly. Dang it! Uh, <laughs> hope to get a chance to fly during this mission. Well, the uh, the opportunity to fly will will definitely come for sure. Well, that but, sounds uh, good. Yeah, but but I I think maybe that they'll have you maybe they'll Chester have you take down that class one shuttle. Whatever they need, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it my best. Uh, 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 I, c I can hug the donkey with the best of them. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, let's 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 get this let's get this mission going. I can, I've already yeah, I've already finished my snacks. Weird expressions for stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, what right, would you so, hug? Okay, so you guys, um, at, as as you guys are leaving the um, the mess hall, you're you're approached by uh, the per I believe the purser. Ooh. Well, basically, whoever it is in charge to make sure the crew's fed um, hands you guys uh, a plate of food and says, with, with a lid over it, says, here you go. And you suddenly realize that somehow your instructions didn't include this, but you're also taking food to, to the prisoner. Oh, this is a lot of food. Oh, it's to the prisoner. Okay. I guess we better make our way over there. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you guys arrive uh, at the... At the uh, uh, at, at the brig, the uh, security officer who's uh, on you know currently posted there says about time you guys arrived and uh, and um, and just basically walks out without even properly turning over uh, you know the the assignment and says have fun with this one and and he just walks out 
and leaves you guys in um, uh, in the brig. Uh, you guys have the, the security station. You guys have a, a row of four uh, cells with force fields, and there's one prisoner. Um, and you guys uh, look at the at, at, at the data pad um, that, that 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 that's on the security station, and it uh, indicates the prisoner is a man known as Cheshire. Oh goodness. <laughs> Chisha hire? What kind of yeah. alien name is that? Yeah, it's probably that. Uh, so <laughs> you, 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 you see a human. Uh, Alex, why don't you describe your character? All right. So human uh, male. Defining features that you notice <clears throat> has scars on both sides of his uh, cheeks and a robotic uh, right arm and um, otherwise looks like um, probably hasn't had the best kind of health care that the uh, rest of the union provides so a little on the gruff side but otherwise that's pretty much about like the only real defining features well I don't know about you Benny but I think this guy's had some work done <laughs> yeah. How, hey, Chesha, how, hey, Chesha how, were you no. named after a, were you named after some sort of human steak sauce or something? Uh, what do we got here? A Is it and a Smurf? Oh, hey. <laughs> I like the Smurfs. <laughs> I, 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 I like to I'm going to make sure the microphone is closer to your mouth. All right. There you go. So, uh, so uh, Alex, question: Does your character have a beard? Uh, goatee and uh, mustache. Okay, cool. Evil facial hair. Got it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's what that's known by. Evil facial hair. Yes. yes. All right. Cool. Um, all right, guys. Well, uh, you guys have a couple of hours uh, to to hold this post, um, and you have a prisoner. Uh, you are fully welcome to interact with him. Please, please, please don't ignore him. This is a great opportunity for, for, for role play here. So what are you in here for, Chestershire sauce? Mm -hmm. hmm. uh, you can call me Cat. Cat? Oh, no. I always wanted a cat, a bridge cat, but I couldn't get one. Oh, come on now. I would imagine that uh, you could have attracted a cat. I can attract pretty much anything. I can I can even attract a jelly. Oh, so just, the, uh, you are a nice little couple. Nice. So that's my babysitters today. Well, well, yeah. no, no, no. We're we're not a, we're not a couple. There are a couple of awesome dudes. <laughs> What's with the uh, change? The last uh, babysitters are now unavailable. Now it's the two of you. Uh, we're the babysitters that you should be uh, paying attention to because we'll send you to bed early if you don't if you don't do what we say. Yeah. So there. Cat. Do we have to feed this guy. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> we have to feed the guys. Yeah, it's part of the rules. Yeah. It's our orders. We got to follow our orders. So you can have. Um, this piece of pizza, I guess. Well, it's better than the normal, like, failed clones with gravy sauce that they normally serve. Uh, if that's what you like to eat, that's what you like to eat, I guess. <laughs> Let me put this on the screen there. So, is something going on? No, or form a union. Just, uh, <laughs> Did you get punished? Uh, it kind of feels like punishment having to, having to watch you. So what are you in here for? Why do we have to babysit you? We got other things to do. Well, one, I kind of doubt it that you actually have something else to do. You seem like the uh, low end. So, <laughs> you know, just a little bit of this and that, a bit of uh, misunderstandings. Uh, well, you guys, 
Uh, if you guys look at the security station, it does have information about what uh, uh, about the prisoner. If you'd like to look it up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can, uh... Let me look here. Deceptive guy <laughs> looks a mess and has a very big smile for some reason, but is also a huge jerk. Yeah. So mm. uh, what what it says is is that uh, according to you, you, you you're, you're you're skimming the ocean, and uh, prior to um, the ship being diverted to this mission. Um, they they were responding to an emergency emergency distress distress call for a pirate attack, and apparently one of the pirates who was who was in a uh, a starfighter um, was unable to escape in time and got captured. So he he was essentially busted, and rather than turn him over to the nearest uh, starbase, uh, he was kept on board the um, the ship, and he's now a prisoner while heading to the mission. But he, but he's also listed with um, an, an an important code that that the list him potentially as a person of interest, and so he's not to be left unguarded. Look, all you got to do, cat, is just give us give give us the code, and and you can get out of here easy breezy. We'll be having uh, drinks after this. All you got to do is is give us the code, man. Well, I couldn't hear you over the engine. Oh, do you got a piece of paper and pencil? I do. All right. One. <laughs> two. One, two. Three. Okay. One, two, three. Wait, hold on. One, two, Let three. Over. One, two. One. Done it. Two. Three. Three. Then what comes after three? Four. Ah, ah. Four. Oh, that's I'm, okay. I'm gonna extend up a pseudopod and 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 tap on Jay Pulio's shoulder. Yeah. What's up? Five. What's up, Benny? I don't think I'm getting code. I don't think the code means that he has a code to give us. The code is for us to understand that he's got to be protected. Well, it's, it's not that kind of a code. It's. Not even a bro code? Is he, is he not following the bro code, Cat? Just give me the code that the union wants and we get out of here. It's really Point. weird that you give me the same code you have on your luggage. Oh, I, I want to travel. So four. <laughs> we're at four. Okay, next. Five. Five. All right. Oh, this is getting good. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, this isn't going to go to 12, is it? Oh, seven. Okay. <laughs> seven. I'm writing it down, too. I can count way higher than seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Do, 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 you already know part of the code. Oh, so I got it. Boom. Code breaker right here. Got you on lock, bud. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Boom. Okay, we're in. Put We just got to put that in. Put that into the system. See if it clears. And then party time for all of us. Oh, no. That sounds lovely. All right. So as you guys are having this conversation, uh, the chief of security comes in. Oh. Yep. This is uh, uh okay. So the chief security Morning, is going. <laughs> um, what was the name of that uh of, of of that guy that uh um Brock Sampson played? Oh um uh. Are you talking about Patrick Warburton? Yes. <laughs> also known as Tharl on the Orville. That's right. All right. Uh, Lieutenant Tharl comes in <laughs> with his uh, smooth attitude, and he says, uh, "You boys having fun in here?" Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, right away, sir. I mean, yes, sir. With this guy. Says, yeah, lots of laughs. Yes, yeah, sir. Sweet, yes, sweetness. All right, I uh, I need to interrogate the prisoner. Um, if you uh, you, you don't have to leave, I'm sure it's cool. 
Yeah, righteous. Cool. Um, all right. So Hello, uh, alert. Yeah. Yeah. So he uh, wa wa walks up to the force field and says, uh, um, "Cheshire, huh? You enjoying that food?" Aye. There might be more in it for you if you uh, cooperate. Oh, that's just lovely. Yeah. So the uh, captain uh, was having us uh, check your ship and the ship's logs, and apparently you've uh, been to this star system before. Yes, and? So I've been authorized to let you know that we're in a time of war and we don't need to, we'd rather not have to deal with uh, the likes of you. Wait, if you, with whom? Pirates. No, no, no. I mean, so wait, you're in war with pirates? We're in war with the Kalon. Everyone knows that. It was, so it's gotten much more serious. Oh, extremely. But you don't need to worry about that as long as you, as, as you, uh, you cooperate and help us out. So what can you tell us about this star system? When's the last time you were here? Not too long ago. There's a, um, <clears throat> there's a safe zone that I don't think um, most would even bother really going to except for if you need trade or information. What, what, what is this safe zone? Because it's a planet near on by. I see. It means people won't make fun of you. <laughs> um, so I, I just realized I didn't send Alex the name of the planet. Uh, boo, boo, boo. Um, look at this up here. Insert information here. I know, right? <laughs> yes. um, Want to know more? Yeah. Uh, the planet is known Please to the locals as a... Five space credits now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The the uh, the the planet is known as uh, Sindal. That's that that's that's what the the locals call the planet. So it's the uh, planet Sindal. I see. And uh, do the do the it's pirates go part of the Union? Well, duh. We're outside of uh, Union territory, but do the pirates land on that planet a lot? It's a planet that's used by multiple factions and groups. I see. But generally not uh, some of the more civilized individuals. Fair enough. Uh, so we want to know, have how long have the Kalon had a base here? Do you know? Insert information here. <laughs> um, Alex, uh, you have never heard of that base. Error. File not found. 404. <laughs> no. Sweet Bramson, I have not heard of this uh, place whatsoever. Mm, so it's fairly new. That is troubling. <clears throat> all right. It's like an unknown phantom zone of pirates. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. So, so then it's... Uh, so prior to the outbreak of the war, that that facility did what didn't exist. Right, Got that's it. Correct. All right. Well, that's good to know. Is um, is there anything we need to know, know about the planet down below? Do they have humanoids on on the planet, or is some other creature? I, it has. Um, I don't know how much you know about Earth culture, but it, it's a. Uh, it's definitely in uh, quite an interesting primitive state, but with some uh, interesting things added to it. Because does like, it have any strip clubs? I. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's civilized. It's not completely barbaric. Well, well, no, not if that's strip clubs. Yeah, no, but this. Uh, I think uh, we have different definitions of what's civilized. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I just realized it. JP just busted in on the interrogation. He get, yeah, he Thurl turns around and looks at you, get, gives you an eyebrow, and then uh, turns back uh, to, to the prisoner and says, uh, all right, well, it seems that uh, the urgency of our mission has uh, stepped up a bit because these people are just as much dangerous as the rest of us. So 
All right. Well, I'm going to report to the captain. Um, you boys keep this guy out of trouble. And he walks out. Kisses. Already miss you. Hey, watch it, buddy. You stay out of trouble because we're, we're watching you. And we're very good at martial arts. So watch it. I would imagine. Yeah. I would think that JP's Wait, character would be good at martial arts. Let me move arts. over here to this side. Let me move over to this side of the uh, place. Yeah. I mean, I got a lot of wiggle room within this uh, cubicle. Well, guess what, buddy? I got two hands. One for this side. And when you wiggle over to this side, I got one for that, too. Go and I got some it. security props right here ready to blast you. Ooh. Yeah. Alrighty, so um, as the other uh, questions that you wanted to ask your prisoner to get um, to uh, get to know him better or get information out of him? Yeah, so listen, Cheshire Cat, tell me more about these strip clubs. <laughs> okay. And give me the code. Oh, oh all right. So for the... Uh strip clubs so on planet i guess um i don't know if you probably would know this reference from earth but uh i've been there done that oh really uh what places did you go to uh i went to albuquerque uh, um i went to um of my choice uh yeah albuquerque is a really great place with a lot of wonderful people and strip clubs so we're having a good time there. And the fauna and the flora is really good, too. All right. Now, give me that code. I've heard Don't make me rabbit, use my pheromones on them. They used to get lost around Albuquerque. <laughs> yeah, it happens. All right. Ready? One. One. <laughs> Hold on. One. Okay, we're... we're we're gonna fade to black on on, on, Two. on, on that gig, guys. <laughs> Three. Okay. Hey, right. wait a minute. This is just like the other code. I'm not falling for it this time. All Do right. The same code. Two or three more times. Uh, you're done, buddy. All right. So we're yeah we're 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 fading to black on that gig. So um, so moving forward, uh. Uh, fast forwarding a couple of hours, the attack is uh, is is commencing. Um, the uh, so the 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 joint fleet operations uh, the um, are are preparing the ships are moving out of the nebula and are preparing to go to quantum. So the two of you are being uh, well, they they've got someone else here to guard the prisoner, and you guys are being sent off to your uh, your damage control station, um, which okay. will be not far from the shuttle bay. And everyone is being uh, being I I issued uh, weapons and armor um, just in case. So um, both of you guys are going to be given uh, uh, light plasma pistols. Um, Check. Exactly. So uh, let's see. Um, the uh, You guys both have the, the PDF. Um, it's going to be on page 49. But they basically did 2d6 uh, plasma damage, and you guys have 50 shots. And then you also are going to be issued uh, um, armor in the form of, uh, of force field projectors, which uh, JT's uh, J Pulio's uh, will of course be a belt, uh, but uh, Benny's going to have a an actual little like disc module that he has to absorb into him and keep a portion of it, um, you know, on the outside so that he can uh, pr project the field. The um, let's see, so so the force field uh, projectors uh, will give you guys a defense stat. Or armor class, as the case may be, of thirteen plus your agility bonus. Okay. So, uh, J JP, your 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 agility stat. Um, and for anyone who's watching it, that would be the same as Dex. I had to change some names in my game to keep things uh, independent. But uh, what what is your agility bonus? Uh, looks like uh, fifteen plus two. Okay, so oh, that's just the bonus plus two. Yes, yeah, so that's going to give you a defense stat of fifteen while 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 you're using the force field. Okay, and, and I, I trust Chaz knows knows how to calculate that. Yes, my just just so the folks in the audience know, uh, 
uh, I have a higher agility, so my agility bonus is going to be plus three, so that will make my uh, defense uh, 16. Yes. And then uh, the uh, um, the force field will last for about 10 hours as long as you guys don't monkey into it, go, go monkeying with the settings. Um, if you guys want to increase your defense, you can. Um, it, it tends to significantly re de de decrease the... Uh, um, uh, your, your your power consumption, um, or sorry, it will increase it. And so um, e each time you increase it by plus one, you end up uh, uh, cumulatively cutting your power uh, power supply in half. And so, uh, but that also starts to make the the field more and more opaque to the point where eventually you wouldn't be able to see out, and you become effectively blind. So it's oh, just kind really? of like, yeah. If you wanted to make you know make yourself a little more defensive, you would start seeing the force field. But uh, a fifteen is not terrible. And it makes the force field invisible at that point. So, all right. Um, and then, and then you, you guys have a gun, and you guys can also, if you want to, car carry a, a handheld scanner as well, or, or bit, basically the comm scanner or tricorder, as some of us prefer to call it. Well, we need a we need a scanner. We we need to know what's going on. Yeah, and and obviously the the, the ship sensors will exist, and you can check you know various displays you know on the halls and stuff but it is good to have a handheld device uh, and you're certainly welcome to carry that equipment um does it cost anything to carry it or is it just free is it a well, freebie it is a freebie because the ship has plenty of equipment for all missions we don't deal with money in the planetary union so you guys simply just requisition equipment that you need and you're good to go i um, want it i'll t i'll take one please yeah, Chaz, do you want to have a standard one or do you want, want an engineering scanner uh i'll take the engineering Okay, cool. All right. And I got standard. Yeah, yours, your, your standard one would be like a tricorder where it's like a mini computer and it uh, has a lot of scanners to scan the area uh, nice. you know, around you. The engineering one um, has, has some of that, but it's primarily designed to interface with ship systems and, and, and uh, assist with uh, engineering tasks. Nice. Um, we are better together, Benny. Yes. All right. Right. I'm going to so, extend um, up a pseudopod for like a high five. <laughs> nice. Yes. Yeah. All right. So um, the uh, the ships go to quantum, and literally within minutes they they, they arrive in the space station, or sorry, arrive uh, in um, in the star system with the uh, with the, sta the the space station uh, coming into view. Did we just lose Alex? It looks like we did. Oh my goodness. Well, we'll give him a chance to, to come maybe back. just put up his force field too high. That 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 could be. Um, let me uh, give me just a second. I want to check to see if he's uh, everything's all right there. Um, doo -doo -doo. Da -da -da. I'll okay. check the news to see if there's any explosions anywhere. Oh, there will be. Make sure. Oh my goodness! Yep, <laughs> explosions all over the place. Explosions. Damn you, news! Too many right. explosions. Well, Alex, hopefully he can tag back in. If if not, we'll we'll roll with it. Um, well, okay. he's in a cell anyway, so exactly. So, all right. So the, um, oh yeah, it looks like he had an interruption. He'll be on in just a sec. Okay. So you, you guys are, uh, um, are just basically waiting at this point as, as, as the ships close in. Oh, there you go. Everything. Okay. Alex. Welcome back. 21st century. Yes. Problems. Yep. Yeah. I mean, can't wait until the 25th oh, hey. century. But, you know, tech but, might yeah, it's, it's it's pretty cool over here in the 25th century, right? I mean, back in the Stone Ages, practically. Right, <laughs> but finally, made it. Looks like you had trouble with that sonic shower. So stay on topic. Stay yeah, exactly. on topic. Yes. Okay. So, uh, yeah, the, uh, the 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 cool uh, Death Star attack music begins, and uh, the 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 ships uh, for, um, b begin their attack run uh, with the. Heavy cruisers uh, taking the lead and moving in on the space station, and uh, as the as this happens, um, you guys are moving in, and a massive energy beam shoots out from the space station. Uh, and as it does, it's the, the amount of power being drawn, uh, material drawing from the um, from the star increases, and it just shoots out, nails one of the of the. Um, uh, krill uh, heavy cruisers and just shears yeah. a chunk off of it. That's uh, our friend right now. It, it, it oh. is, yes. And you guys see that out the window. And at that point, um, you know, the order goes out and the fleet just spreads to try to, you know, not provide a, a concentrated target. And that's when uh, the Kalon ships move in to attack. 
and uh, and then uh, suddenly the fleet finds itself in 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 a, in a serious battle with uh, um, you know energy blast ships being hit. You know, oh, man. The oh, shots, and you, you guys are uh, um, <laughs> being rocked in the halls. <laughs> And, oh, and whoa. yeah, exactly. Every, everybody's shaking unison. Um, I always wanted to do this. <laughs> there We're <it> doing it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So uh, the ship you guys are on is is a smaller ship. It probably could not even survive a shot like that, but it's also more maneuverable and hard to hit. Um, it's uh, size wise, it's kind of equivalent to the Defiant, though maybe not as powerful. And uh, the um, the the uh, the Redenbacher is farming up with uh, three other ships of that of that size class. Uh, two two of them are um, are uh, are Krill, and they are moving in for a coordinated attack against uh, one of the larger Kalon ships. Um, and as this is happening, uh, you know, like uh, smaller assault craft come in to attack ships. You know, take a hit. There's fires going off. It's all getting crazy. Um, what would you guys like to do right now? How are our shields uh, do? I want to check the shields to make sure that they're being able to handle the blast. Well, so, so, so far the, the the ship is doing okay. Um, you know, we're you're not taking any, any direct hits, but the um, you know there there are uh, uh, you know fires going off, and there are a number of um, you know minor systems that 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 that, that are taking damage from it. Um, if you guys okay, would like well, to roll roll some damage control rolls for that, that would be good. Um, yes. So I believe uh, both roll. Of you, yeah. Okay. So uh, JP, do you have general engineering or starship engineering? What, what what do you have for engineering skills listed? For engineering, I have. Oh gosh, where do I even find that? Yeah, pages of info. Yeah, what's well, um, a, a good opportunity for you to kind of like see how how how, how the skill checks work? Let's see. I, I'm, I'm a so, salvage expert. I'm a boomer. Uh, they can jury rig things. Jury rig would, 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 would be an acceptable skill. Um, so you, you have with, with, with your profession list there. And so it would, it would be under the profession list. Uh, ju jury rig would, would, would definitely be one of them. Oh, gosh. I don't have anything written on there. How did I miss that? Um, well, I'm, I'm a pilot and a super pilot. I know that. <laughs> uh, okay. Ju just a second here. Let me uh, bring up the... Um, I should have had that. This is uh, this is the. Yeah, I, I need right, to make right. a one sheet. Well, let me um, RPG. let me bring up. Uh, let's see, where did I have that? Oh, here's a whole bunch more. Um, professions: AI, starship, engineering, sublight engines, uh, OG equipment. Did I okay, write so, that and cargo leaders. All right, so starship Loaders. engineering is is the skill. So um, we need both of you guys to um, batten down a, uh, um, a coolant leak um, that's happening in the room. So um, what we'll do is we'll have um, you roll a, a d20 um, and send. So you're going to use a proficiency die of a d4, exactly. So and you I just d20. roll it. Well, well, you well you roll d20. You're also going to get a, a d4. And you're going to get your agility bonus, um, be, because this is going to be like a, um, a, an engineering check where where, where your uh, your hand-eye coordination matters more than your intelligence. Is a D four just like a regular guy? It looks like a pyramid. Oh, pyramid. Okay. Oh, okay. I see it. I see it. I think I see it. This bad boy right there. That's uh, no that that is a D. No, that no, that's not. I pick up the wrong one. I see it. I see it. I got a lot of dice. You're 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 gonna get used to it. So you probably want to have them all kind of dumped out in a pile. So yeah, can so I can pick them up. Easily. That's it. Yeah, that's and the number on top all right. is, is, is going to be the result. Make sure you don't step on that in your bare feet, though. Um. <laughs> okay. No, I won't. So I just roll both of them. Yep. All right, together in my mixing bowl of dye. Yes. yes, you do. All right, here we go. Stealth mode. Uh, on the twenty sided, I got a four. Okay. And on 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 the uh, on the D four, I got a one. Okay, so you so roll low. You 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 rolled a five, and uh, okay. that, 
the and and then uh, so if you add in your your agility uh, bonus, I think it was a, a plus two. So that is going to mean you rolled a seven. So you are failing to lock it down. Uh, <gasps> Chaz, is is Benny going to jump in and help with this? Of course. Okay. Move aside, blue boy. Oh crap! Well, got a ten. Okay. After so, bonuses um, and everything, got a ten. All right. So you. Better than uh, my crap. Whatever. All right. Whatever's going on, it's pretty severe. <laughs> <laughs> Someone says, in fact, JP causes extra damage. Uh, yes. So, all right. So you, um, you guys, uh, um, have not succeeded in locking down the coolant leak, and there is an alert going out that we need to evacuate that section. So the entire hallway is going to be sealed off. Uh, you guys got to get out of there. Oh man, let's go. Yeah. All right. Hurry so, up, Sluggy. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you guys will have to do uh, what we call a dash action or what I call the sprint action in cyber symbiosis, where you have to move double speed, um, which is basically your, your basic movement speed is, is, is a 30. Uh, you guys will have to move 60 to get out of here in time. Well, my character can't move 60. <laughs> oh, his, oh, dear. His, his base speed is 25, so double that is 50. Uh-oh. <laughs> I need a bucket. Hurry, I need a bucket. Or at least a backpack that's waterproof. Or helmet. Yeah. Or helmet. Yeah. Pith yeah. helmet. Can I just, can I just activate helmet. my force field and hope? Uh, and hope, yes. Yeah, you, you absolutely can, actually. The the force field would actually protect you guys a bit against against, against the uh, the coolant leak. Um, or maybe play basketball there, JP. Or, yeah, or, do that. Yeah, or, I can you, do that. or you can make a physical training check, uh, or what we call um, uh, the, the athletic skill in D&D. To attempt to increase your speed, um, we're in a red alert situation. Yes, you are. So, uh, get, give me a. You know, get, it's, it's funny. I have, <laughs> I took a proficiency in, in physical training. So let's see how that goes. All right. Uh, okay, I got a fifteen. Okay, so you are able to. Uh, uh, well, well. So, what, what what does it look like when Benny increases his speed? Does he roll into a ball like Samus? Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I, I, yeah. It's but yeah, it's that he becomes like a a big greenish ball and rolls. All right, really cool. quickly. All right, so uh, you guys get 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 dashing, and you uh, manage to slide underneath the door as the door closes, and that entire hallway is sealed off. Um, with uh, with with uh, coolant um, from uh, from the reactors uh, filling the space, and uh, as as this happens, the uh, ship takes another hit and it uh, jerks the ship, and you see a uh, lights uh, you know um, dimming, and there's a uh, uh, you know power failing in, in this section, and you guys have more work to do. Uh, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna cut 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 over to Alex uh, the the Cheshire. So, so, is it uh, two individuals or one individual watching me? Uh, at the moment, it's it's only one person. Uh, what ended up happening was there there were two, and then when the battle started, one of them said um, got got orders and had to dash out of the room. And at the moment, it's it's just just a young uh, crewman, um, a security officer who is uh, uh, who's guarding you. Not even an, actually an officer technically, um, and. Uh, and he's he's uh, at the station, um, uh, kind of holding himself. Because occasionally it rocks hard enough to make him lo lo lose his footing. Hey, Wingus, where did Dingus go? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he had orders, man. Um, uh, What's going on? Well, we are in a battle. Uh, duh. <laughs> and uh, I, far as far as I'm concerned, you're not you're not worth guarding. Goes well. Maybe I could see about helping instead of uh, you being part of uh, babysitting duty. Yeah, sure. You, I, I let you go, and the first thing you do is make a beeline for the shuttle bay and steal a ship. Good, good, good one, genius. Well, I guess you're not Dingus then. No, I don't plan to be. So, well, this doesn't really give too much option of uh, anything to actually do if you're going to be stuck watching, watching me. Yeah, and but uh, I could definitely see about helping. Well, what what what, what would you do if I if, if 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 I decided to help? 
We just well, had the to biggest let you know. thing is it's like what what we got going on obviously need a computer or the ability to actually see what's going on to be able to actually help properly. Oh, I can I can see I've got the all, all the red alerts going on. And then as this is happening, there's this massive uh hit that feels like the entire ship gets jerked. And he's like he he literally falls down. It, it's enough to like knock you off 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 your bench, and then he he, he scrambles to back to his feet. Looks on the uh, on um, on the screen. It's like what the hell? And then um, he uh, just goes goes to the weapons locker, grabs a gun, and then runs runs out into the hall. Oh, for the love of! And then at at that, and then uh, you're left like that for about a minute, and then. And in that time, the ship doesn't take any hits that you can feel. And then you you see some energy weapons fire, and he comes stumbling back, falls down, in you know dead from a shot to the chest in the room, drops his gun, and then you see a Kalon walk in, with gun with guns out. Oh no! And and the 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 Kalon um, looks at you. Uh, just kind of looks up and down, assesses the situation. This turns out turns around and walks out of the room. Well, that was bloody rude. Um, holy shit. Okay, Flux Capacitor would get an inspiration for that. Uh, in in the, the nice uh, nice Star Trek reference. I love it. Anybody else get that? Which one? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. A little P Paul Winfield action there. <laughs> Speaking in metaphor. <clears throat> All right, so um, you guys, um, you guys are uh, de dealing with with, with with another crisis. Oh, I get yeah. it now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, my 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 nerd cred is good. Um, plus, for some reason, that's an episode I think about a lot. Uh, so um, yes, you guys are um, are uh, de dealing with another damage control issue. And then you guys also feel this massive impact. And then for just a moment, like the ship's not getting shot at anymore. And as you guys, uh, um, Chaz, while you log into the uh, into the energy pad to 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 get a feel for like what's what what just happened and how much yep. uh, damage the ship just suffered, you see that there is a an indicating a massive hull breach um, on the ship on the deck below you guys. Do you do you want to try to like uh, log in and get get a better feel for for uh, what what's going on? Do I have to go down there to do that, or can I do that you, from here? You could. Uh, there are various cameras that that, that you could patch into. Um, yeah, that's what I mean. Let let, let me try yeah. to do that from here. Yeah, don't leave okay. me alone, Benny. <laughs> yeah, give me a um, get get give me a computer's check to try to patch into something that would get give you a view of the area. Um. Hmm. That, that would be intellect. Yep. Uh, what was zero. 16? Sorry, what was that? 16. 16. Uh, zero would be a rare result. Usually it's going to be a one. The one that you... <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I was talking actually... about where we're starting from. Well, or... I, 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 should, I should mention that at my usual table, I'm actually forbidden from saying the word don't fumble because every time I do almost like freaking clockwork, my friend Jeff rolls a fumble immediately afterwards. <laughs> So oh wow! It, yeah, so it I I tend to get blamed for that sort of stuff. Um, so yes, uh, okay. So Chaz, uh, Benny manages to get um, a view um, of the hallway, as well as an external view, and some sort of a pod has actually impacted on the ship, and struck it, and it um it, and it hit hit it uh, hard enough to actually go um, go right through the hull. And it uh, it appears it's a breaching pod, and you you can see through the internal security cameras, uh, Kalon are coming out of the ship and opening fire on every crew member they see. So he can see this as well as me. I don't have to tell him that we've been breached. Uh, he can actually or... see your pad, um, and, and you, okay. but but you can also share that information to to his uh, um, his scanner. Com scanner, yeah. I guess pad com scanner. Yeah, yeah. As you, a Rotepsi, and I always know when something's been breached. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely fair. Um, 
Um, okay, is there is there anything that I boy, is there anything that I can do because I'm I'm sure the Kalon can see in the dark. I'm sure they've yes. got to be able to see in the dark. Absolutely. Uh, is there any way that I could perhaps uh, activate a force field from here um, in the in the corridor to try and cut them off? Um, there are force fields. There's also at at critical locations. There's also emergency bulkheads. You could attempt to uh, trigger an, uh, either of those uh, features. Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, another computer check, or is this uh, uh, engineering? That 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 would be engineering, but it, it would be intellect based because you're trying to um, essentially per, like outmaneuver their attempts to to you know keep that from happening because obviously at this point someone's going to that that they know what they're doing and they're going to be trying to keep keep those exact same measures from stopping them. So, um, so the question is, is do you just want to try to drop a force field and contain them in a particular area, or do you want to try doing the emergency bulkhead, which would be more likely to trap them, but it would also trap people in with them? Uh, well, let's try the force field first. And if that okay. doesn't work, perhaps then, yeah, I'll try a bulkhead. Use right. the force field. Yes. All right. What do you got? Uh, nine. Nine? Uh, okay, yeah. I only, I beat you, but only just. Um, so, let me bring up my NPC stats here. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, the, um, you, you are, uh, um, attempt to, to activate a force field, and you know it turned on, but, uh, some, uh, Kalon was in the system and managed to shut it down, and they, they, they just keep going. And uh, you know that the red alert's been triggered. You can definitely see that they, you know, they like like the they're aware that there uh, are borders on board, and so there is going to be a security response. The uh, the Marines are going to be deploying to t take them on, as well as uh, um, as uh, you know the the security forces. But it is unclear how many of them have boarded the ship. So, what do you guys want to do? We need to get these guys off off of us, Benny. I know. I don't know if my uh, blaster is going to be able to do anything. Well, it it uh, it'll be enough to to cause some damage. Well, you keep working on engineering, Benny. I'll try to cause some da damage with my pew pews. There you go. Well, um, so as far as like internal sensors, Benny, you are aware that the uh, the Marines are are responding, and there is a large firefight uh, currently breaking out, um, uh, you know, on 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 the deck below you guys. Uh, but it's not the only place that the Kalon are going. They are they're spreading out as far as they can um, to get get to other decks. Um, is there anything you want you guys want to do about that? Anything else? Self destruct. That is a good. That is a very possible scenario. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that, would, that would end the rest of the season. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'd have to go have another session zero and roll up new characters. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. To relive uh, to the pheromone. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 This is when you learn about that tradition of playing the exact same character with a different name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, we need to stop these guys, Benny. We need—they're uh, honest. They're gonna—they're gonna—they're gonna capture us or kill us. So we need to stop them. What can we do? Well, they beat me. They beat me to it on the force fields. If I, if I put down hull breach uh, seals, we'll seal our own people in there with them. Yeah, it's, it's sort of sealing their fate. That's not a good thing. Well, what yeah. about an impulse, uh, 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 an EMP, electromagnetic pulse? Maybe we can slow them down or knock them out. That is a possibility. Um, well, I could. I, I'll give it a shot. Now, would that right. be? Well, that you, be you. Uh, yeah, according to Mike, you guys need bubble gum and duct tape for that. Um, so, uh, <laughs> it, in order in order to do that, you would have to. Well, have I'm the bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, correct. I, I just need duct tape. So, in in order to generate EMP pulse, you would need another. Uh, you need something that would could uh, produce that um, that kind of an effect. It's not something that you just have on you. So, you'd have to go go somewhere to to get that. Probably the easiest place to get something would be to go to the shuttle bay, um, where where there are shuttles. There's extra equipment, um, warheads, and uh, a lot of maintenance gear, a lot of tools. 
Um, and you okay. guys are not far far from the, from that that location. Okay. Yeah, because you said we were we were assigned to uh, damage control near the cargo bay. I thought. Correct. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna head there. Okay. All right. So while while that's happening, um, and you guys are of course observing, you know, like more power failures and fluctuations on board the ship, um, Alex. Hi. Right. You are, um, you know, in 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 your uh, um, in, in your cell, cursing the fact that uh, they they were killed before you were um, able to escape, and then you see uh, power fluctuations happening in the space, and uh, your your force field starts to uh, fluctuate, and going on and off. All right. Look, see if it's um, kind of timed. Um, it seems kind of random, actually. Um, Give me um do, do you do you have starship engineering? Starship engineering uh just starship operations. Okay, that that that's good enough. Get get give me a um a, a proficient in, in intellect check please. I like somebody out of the um chat to roll for me. <laughs> that makes me I don't have my dice with me. Oh, you don't. Alex. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, can, uh Mike, do you, do you have dice? Can 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 you roll a a, a d twenty plus a d four for Alex? Uh, I I would do it, but it's bad form for the game master to do that. Let's see if Mike that's can, very bad form. It is actually. Um, let's see. Can can we get? Uh, see, I don't know what the delay is. Uh, um, if Mike doesn't respond fast enough, I'll have to get uh, one of you guys to do it. Um, I have a whole go. I have a whole mess of die. No, Mike. Mike says, "I got you." Awesome, Mike. Uh, yes, roll me a D four plus a D twenty, please, Mike. Let's see if uh, Mike uh, Mike's got your back, Alex. Now entering glory hole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I've got well like an inspiration. Mike's got you. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I'm I'm not seeing the results very fast. Uh, okay, so uh, Alex, while Mike is uh, getting that for you, um, oh, here we go. You got a 19. Fantastic. So I'm sure with your bonuses, that's more than good enough. So oh, good for you. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So what 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 you're estimating from it is is you realize that the the power fluctuations you're seeing are not a result of like damage, as of somebody's clearly trying to screw with the system. Like it has the feeling of like. Um, it it doesn't it seems it doesn't seem random like like right. the like, like like it actually does have a pattern I'm gonna try to time it as best as i can okay. of if uh worst case scenario mm -hmm. my right side will um if like the ah. force field comes back up it will hit that all right good uh, i'm just gonna need an uh an agility saving throw all right, go Mike. Yeah, never say Mike's got you right after now entering glory hole. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. All right. All right. Oh, that's right. Alex needs a roll. Uh okay, Chaz, can 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 you roll a D20? Um uh, Alex, are you proficient with, with agility saves? Nay. Okay, so it'll just be a straight D20. <laughs> Four. Okay. <laughs> All right. You want me to re-roll that? No, no. Uh, well, uh, uh, roll Alex, for re-roll. Um, uh, uh, Alex, if you want to spend a luck die, uh, if you have any, we we can uh, we can force a re-roll. Hmm. I, I'm thinking with the way that this campaign might go, um, might need to save my luck points for later. That well, that's totally Unless up to you. It's really bad. Well, uh, I, uh, you you, you got to make the decision right now. Uh, let's go with uh, luck point. Okay, uh, Michael ju just rolled for you. We got a twelve, so that will be enough to make it. Um, so you 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 do do your best, Kirk roll, and manage to make it through. And you find yourself uh, standing there um, or crouching, actually, in in the security station, dead uh, right right next to to it to a to a to a dead uh, dead crewman. And 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 you see a a plasma pistol on the ground. Go grab the plasma. Pistol and All right. go go take a look at the hallway. Okay, so you uh, are, are are you gonna like uh, 
just step out of the hallway, you're gonna like take cover and look. Take a look in the hallway, uh, just peering around the sides. All right, so you peer on the sides, and and you see a couple more dead bodies, and um, it's uh, you know clear that the Kalon came through here, but there's no sign of them yet, uh, or at least currently. Um, there, uh, it, it, all you see in the hallway is is, is emergency lighting, so it's de definitely illuminated red, uh, very much like the red background we have right now. Um, Am I familiar with this model of ship? Um, I would say decently familiar. Um, probably not as well as these guys. Um, but uh, as a reminder, Alex, you also know that that your own personal equipment was locked up um, somewhere near here. No, um, that's what I'm um, heading towards first. Yeah. Uh, so it wouldn't necessarily be in the brig. It would probably be um, in a storage locker uh, connected to the security office, which would not be far away. If you want to go go for that, um, head towards that way. Okay. Um, moving down the hall. Oh, if hit... there's another pistol, I will grab it. Okay, yeah, there there are our weapons on the ground. The Kalon have just left them laying there. So, all right, so you you pick up a second gun. So now you're two, two weapons fighting, and uh, you um, taking in um, another look around the corridor. You yeah, you just you just see the massacre, and there are more more dead uh, dead officers, um, and uh, uh, you you do th you do see the security office not not far away. Start heading that way. All right, cool. Okay, so you get in there. Um, you uh, you 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 open the door and you don't see any sign of the chief security at all. Um, but you you do see a number of lockers. Unfortunately, they are are uh, are are uh, because of the security lockdown. They've got the red light, which means you're not going to be able to ha hack those things. The you lockers are locked. Yeah, the lockers are are, are super locked. Uh, so it may it may be the kind of thing where you're going to have to just blast them open if you want to get in, or just call it good with what you have. Your choice. I'm going to blast open, uh, take a look at, see what's uh, in in them until I either find my stuff or something better. Okay, fair enough. Um, okay, so we're going to get back to that. Um, we're going to pivot over to the other two. Um, Someone's going to get promoted quickly with all these dead officers. That's one interpretation. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, uh, Alex, according to Barry, when you did your Kirk roll, you lost your gun. <laughs> all right. So uh, you guys are, are making your way to the um, to to the um, to the hangar bay. And when when okay. when, when, when you reach um, uh, you guys reach the uh, the control room. And uh, you find that um, uh, at, well, as you're approaching the control room, you uh, you see that up ahead there's a fight going on. Apparently, one of the Kalon managed to reach the control room and is currently killing the officers uh, that are stationed there. Oh, we so, gotta we gotta stop this Kalon from killing more of our people. All right, more of our officers. So here's how this works. Uh, we're gonna now do what's called rolling initiative. JP. I so, wanted to roll for pheromones, but okay. It won't work on a Kalon, will it? Okay, so let me step a second to sta stage the map so we can establish what you guys see more easily. Uh, bear with me a second. Talk amongst yourselves. Well, this is quite the situation we found yes. ourselves in. Yes. These damn Kalon. They've been a problem ever since uh, ever since we've uh, uh, started working with them. It turns out it was a big old, uh, a big old deception the entire time. I call them Decepticons. Okay. Gives us a good chance for. Her. <laughs> we, need, we needed a little uh, commercial break. <laughs> Nothing like those bay formers. Yeah, right. <laughs> Here's what I think about the K-Line. It's a special kind of garbage person, if you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> also. Yeah, Barry says it's a seems like a real sticky situation. I, oh, I there's a jelly yeah, yeah, there right there. Yeah, it's, I, I just realized I should have put a timestamp on these things. Um, oh, Alex. Yes. Oh, nice. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a certain advantage to having an, an artist on the team that absolutely had nothing to do with why Alex was invited. Uh, so sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So what you guys can see is the control room uh, for the um, for the hangar bay, and uh, you guys are at the end are at the end of the hall, and you guys see a Kalon is there and has just uh, killed um, two of the officers. Um, uh, I, I, I have, oh, um, what's this? Dice chunk. Um, Ooh, Cyber Simeonis, uh, he's so good. <laughs> well, I may be relying on not, well, I am using some minis. <laughs> so th th thank you very much for the compliment. Um, we will use minis as much as possible. So, all right. So you guys, uh, the, the, this is the situation. Uh, you guys see um, the Kalon there, and the Kalon now has has control of the of uh, of the force fields. So uh, you guys need to roll initiative. So the way combat works, JP, is okay. uh, is we start with what's called an initiative roll. So you're going to roll a d20 plus your agility bonus, or you know, uh, uh, dexterity for a pure D and D player. And you can roll that, and we're, that's going to determine turn order, so we can find out what what order pe pe people take. So okay. I'm going to I'm going to roll secretly for 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 the Kalon, and that is going to be a got it. And then um, and then you, you guys roll yours, and you let me know what 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 the result is. Okay, here goes mine. What what'd you get, Chaz? Fifteen. Very good. And uh, JP, I got twelve. 12 and that that's with with your agility bonus oh no oh, i'm sorry with my agility bonus which i think is two right yes I uh, so. that'd be um 12 plus two equals 14 i had to math it up a little bit a little algebra yeah, yeah, yeah that higher math is a tough one um, yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so that puts chaz at a 15 so he acts ahead of you you're you're acting next and then the k-line i rolled a two so uh yeah. the k-line's going last um so Damn what right. happens at this point, um, there, there's a lot of specifics to combat that we don't necessarily need to worry about. We'll address them, you know, as they become relevant. You're basically going to tell me what it is you want to do, and then we'll help you with the correct action to address that situation. But okay. the thing thing to bear in mind is is that like Chad, even though Chaz goes first, he doesn't have to because he's gone ahead of you. He can choose to delay his action, and and you guys can, you know, coordinate if you need to, or he can, you know, bravely stand behind you, <laughs> to protect himself. <laughs> All right. Um, also, bear in mind that one of the things that, that I, I did while considering how all this stuff would work is I think that the uniforms in these shows probably have to be more practical than just simply good looking. Um, mm. So the assumption I'm making is is that the uh, standard issue uniforms, particularly in your case, as long as you're wearing the uniform jacket, would uh, reduce the damage of the weapon of energy weapons fire by half. Um, it would function in okay. a similar uh, fashion to how like the body glove in, in Star Wars works, how the stormtroopers have that you know, that dispersal layer to keep them from getting killed. Um, gotcha. But uh, unfortunately, um, you know, uh, Benny can't have that because he's a slime creature. So he obviously has uh, other areas where he's defended, but against an energy blast, he's a little bit more vulnerable than you are. So that does put you in a position where you would inherently want to tank a little bit. Uh, tanking is what we call it when you stand up and you you, you know you're tough enough to take all the hits. Yeah, you, you're but, a tough guy. Uh, yeah. So, but you guys also don't have any cover because you're in like a wide open hall. The only way you guys get cover is to get, you know, uh, up to the door and shoot around the corner. But the Kalon also has access to the door controls. So, oh, uh, yes, you guys are blue are blue them. I thought it said blue team. Nope, it says blue them. Uh, yes, blue them. I can blue them. Yeah. I can blue so, them, knock okay. out their sensors. But fortunately, you guys get to act first. So how do you guys want to approach this? Um, Chaz, do you want to act now or let JP move well, ahead of you? How far away am I from the Kalon? Oh, fuck. Hold on. And just to oh, clarify, this is this one Kalon? Just one Kalon? That's all you guys see right now. Okay. That's not to say there couldn't be more in the room, but you guys only see yeah. one at the moment. Um, I'd say... 10, 15, 20, I'd say it's about uh, 30, 35 feet away. Oh, crap. Oh, you were, th you were thinking of getting in the room early. Or, well... Uh, dashing into the room. I, I was... I can distract them, allowing you to get closer. Now, now let, let me let me get this uh, because it's been a while since I've since I've seen this show. The Kalon with the guns, those things actually sort of fold out of their head, right? Yeah, correct. They're they're is there part they, of, is 
Yes. But but now there's like openings in its head, right? It's exposed because the guns are. Oh. Oh, uh, very good point. You're not wrong, but that would be a difficult. If you're planning to shoot the openings, that would be a that would that would be a much more difficult shot. Oh no 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 no! I'm not planning on shooting it. Okay. I'm what I what I was thinking, and I'm gonna ha I, I if I, I I don't know if I can do a dash for or, or dash first to do this, but okay. because it's more than my my movement for run, one round, I'm gonna have to dash. Okay. I'd like to dash up on it. Okay. Get up get up on it and start oozing into the thing through <laughs> the ports where the gun is coming out you, where the guns come out. Well, the, that the, works. The, once I'm in there, okay. wreak as much right. havoc as I possibly can. Okay. Well, don't, don't, don't forget what happened to Yafit when he tried a similar stunt. So, <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, he was out for a little bit. Yeah. He, 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 he fried himself a bit, uh, pulling a, 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 a stunt like that. Okay. So but he can roll me, for not to be fried. Correct. <laughs> um, okay, so I did include rules for charge attacks, uh, which you know D and D did not. Yeah, freakers. Uh, so so when you do a charge attack, it allows you to use the the dash, and so you rush up and you get to make a single uh, basic attack using. Uh, we're calling them minor actions, everyone. But yeah, you you, you get to make a single basic attack, nothing fancy. Um, and so that attack could be taking the form of oozing in, but you still would have to make a successful unarmed strike against your target. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, so um, since you do since since you're doing something really precision like that, you're not going to get like the um, the charging strike bonus. But you would, if you succeed, you would be able to start oozing yourself into the head. Which uh, I I well, would I get my I regular the... attack bonus, my yeah, my my absolutely. regular agility attack bonus. Okay. Yeah, if you were just like ramming into him, it would be you would get an extra plus two to strike because you're just bull rushing in into your target. Over. Yeah, but but you're but you're going for something more precise, which admittedly is going to be a, probably a smarter move if you pull it off. Um, all right, then. Uh, okay, so so Chaz, um, um, roll away. All right, so you can turn yourself <laughs> into a ball and try to haul ass. Yep. All right, so you 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 roll down the hall, um, do, doing the the doing the charge maneuver, and then uh, I just need a uh, a strike roll. Come on, baby! Oh. Come on, baby! Ooh, Mike, ooh, 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 ooh! Mike says you're doing the KY attack. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-two. Twenty-two is definitely going to hit. Okay. Um, uh, do, do, okay. Yep, you definitely hit. Okay, so you jump on him and you start oozing your. So, so you so you. Hold on, let me. Uh... All right. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna uh, just a second while I update the picture because this is kind of fun. Um... That Kalon wasn't ready for that jelly. No, no, he was not. Nobody expects the Spanish jelly. All right. <laughs> Okay, we're up Sliming the people. There we go. Okay, so you are right up on that dude, and um, and uh, essentially what we in in a, in a grappling situation, um, the the KYJ attack, cute. Um, so all right, so uh, now it's uh, it's JP's turn. Um, JP, if you open fire right now, you are definitely it's like it's really high likelihood that 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 you would hit Benny. So you probably don't 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 want to take that shot. Um, do you just want to d dash into the control room now? Yeah, I gotta. I, I need to dash into the control room and take control back. Okay, I think you could easily reach reach the controls at this point if you wanted to. Um, it would be all you do is get to the controls, but you absolutely could 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 reach them. Do you want to do that? Uh, yes, and I have a. Uh, let's see. Um, I have engineering. Uh, yes. An engineering profession. Okay, yeah. So you're more than qualified. So, so the the way it would basically work is think of it in terms of having two actions you can do, right? So okay. one of those actions would be movement, and one action would be your major action, uh, which would allow you to do whatever, right? So okay. in this case, you're using your major action to to do a double move. So all you're doing is running. Um, so essentially, you're going to reach the control panel, kind of slam into it to stop yourself, and you'll be panting a little bit from the exertion. Mm -hmm. But uh, so you won't you won't you won't have. Uh, uh, 
the ability to like do much to 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 the uh, panels like you could you can hit a few buttons or something but you're not gonna be able to do anything really significant okay yeah like probably the only thing you could potentially do would be to seal the door um to the room if you wanted to do that yeah let's seal the door so that we don't get blindsided by by more kalon we could just take like take this one out okay cool let, let, let me let me uh update the battle map Battle map getting updated. So we are going to do another picture. Nice. Is that going to be Jay Puglio? I think so. All right. Yeah, he I needs mean, a uh, he needs a beard. Oh, he needs a beard. Yeah, I had um, I interviewed All Lex right. Kassar a few years ago. And we were uh, who does um art for the Orville, and he yeah. said that, uh, you know, we made jokes about me be playing a Retepsian on the show, but he said I have to keep the beard. Yes. Oh, yeah, so I'll, I'll need that. a beard. Well, I mean, there Will there be. is an, um, uh, th this sort of thing is, is established as possible because they were obviously able to give Bordas a mustache. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stimulated. Well, I don't even know if they have hair follicles, but they're able to stimulate hair growth. Yeah. So uh, I'd, I'd say um, a number of things are possible. So, all right. So you are now in, in the control room. You're at the panel. You've sealed the door. So now it is the, um, the Kalon's uh, turn. And I think that, uh, fortunately for you, he is very concerned about the green bastard that's oozing into his head. Yeah. <laughs> concerned to rip stuff up. Yes. So what's going to happen then is the Kalon disconnects its head. And moves forward to grab a gun from one, one of the dead crewmen. Okay. Yeah. I don't and like so, that. I want to stop this this guy. Yeah. So, um, so yes. Yeah, so, Chaz, you now have the head, um, which you can feel that it's running with anti gravity. Um, it's trying to fight against you to break itself free. Um, do you want to give me an opposed strength check, please? Or Um, for me, in this case, it'll be just a straight die roll because it's not connected to the body. Um, you, you, um, in, uh, because you you took physical training, uh, you you can make that a proficient roll. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna need to. Hey, nice. There we go. There we yeah. go. Well, that didn't really help very much. Total of a nine. Nine. Okay. Yeah. So, and um, unfortunately, the uh, the. The head manages to, to break free and it uh, repositions itself to um, to be able to shoot you, but it doesn't do that yet because it's uh, it's 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 in, the body is basically using its actions to grab the gun, um, and it turns around and who is it going to shoot? Um, I think the gun is actually going to open fire on 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 you, um, and uh, but because it's uh, disconnected from its main sensor unit, it's just going to be like a, a it's not going to have proficiency oh, wow. on the shot. Yeah. Stormtrooper um, level. Abilities. Yes. Okay. Um. I I trust your force field is active, right? Uh. Right, Benny. Oh yeah. Okay. Good. Because I rolled a twelve, so that shot um de deflects off your force field and uh, impacts on the wall. Well. You, okay. Even if I had it off, my natural defense is thirteen. Okay. So you would have been able you to still... like to ooze out of the way. Yeah, I could have done my I could have done my donut dodge where I just. Mm -hmm. Shot yeah. goes right through. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, cool. So uh, back to the top, uh, Chaz. It is now Benny's turn. What is? I am Benny sorry, you are upset. Perhaps you are on your period. <laughs> <laughs> I missed all these sound cues. It's been a long time. <laughs> Drop my uh, my plasma pistol to uh, to do what I just did. Uh, Oh, so, um, I don't think you would have had to drop your gun to do that. Okay, well, and I'm gonna I'm gonna open fire on him. Yeah, because the gun could have just been inside your body the whole time. Yeah. So I'm gonna open fire on him. Uh, Sounds uncomfortable. Gonna, so are you gonna shoot the the body or the head? Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the head. I'm gonna there's gonna be a headshot. So I got a 14 or better <laughs> to hit. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, well. Uh, no. That. That's. Um, uh, sorry. Hold on. Let me bring up uh, called shots. Uh, yeah. So it's gonna. Well. It, it'll be rolling against his defense, but because it's a smaller target, uh, it'll basically you're gonna roll twice and take the lower because you have to. Uh, 
hit. Oh, uh, so I'm rolling. Okay, you know, rolling yeah. at uh, what? Yeah. Vulnerability. Yes, we can't use the the D and D term. No. Well, I mean, I'm well. Well, we're talking about disadvantage. I'm not going to use disadvantage. I mean, we could we could call it disadvantage. Yeah, it's fine. You're basically rolling with disadvantage because you're shooting um, a, a small moving target. Okay. I got the same roll both times. I'm not. I'm not kidding. I got. I. I got a natural thirteen on the dice. Okay. Both times. Wait, a natural thirteen? Yeah, both times on the dice. Oh well, that natural thirteen should hit with your with, with your strike bonus. Oh. Yeah, my strike but, bonus but, would be plus three. Right, so you're gonna hit. Okay. Yeah. So that, that, yeah. Yeah. The weapon's gonna do two two d six to the head. Uh, not much. Four. Four damage. Okay. Um, let's see. It's gonna be uh, um, that that uh, takes off one of the guns. Um, the the head is uh, looking uh, looking pretty messed up, but it's still floating there. Um, all right, JP, what do you want to do? Well, I want to. Now that the head is got one of its guns gone. Uh, it's it's more vulnerable. I want I want to and 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 um, Benny is not part of the target anymore. If, if I go to shoot that head, right? Correct. I want to shoot that head. Okay. So uh, again, um, what I want to shoot doing? that head. <laughs> what a thing to say. Okay. So we're doing a called shot. So what what you're going to do is you're going to roll twice. So you roll 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 the roll the d the d twenty twice and take the lower result, and then we're going to add your bonuses to that. Okay. Uh, no, uh, first roll. Here we go. All right. What'd you get? I think it's a, that's a six. Okay. Uh -oh. oh, so that'll probably be the low one. That could be very well. Yes. And the other one's a nineteen. A nineteen. But I got to okay. take the six, I guess. Or yeah, was yeah. that a nine? No, it was a six. Okay, so uh, unfortunately, I don't think there's a scenario where you're going to be able to hit because even if you rolled max result on your proficiency die of a d4, that's still only going to be a, a plus six. So, um, yeah, so you you open fire on the head and you miss. Uh -huh. and, and then, um, uh, all right. So the um, so now we have uh, the the head and the gun. Okay, so what's going to happen then? Is that the um, the head uh, opens fire on 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 you, JP? No. Yeah, I'm afraid it does. Um, okay, that is definitely going to hit. Uh, that is going to be a uh, 25. Uh, Ow. But he, yes, but he only gets one one oh, of the head right. guns. So um, let me bring up my stats here. Damage is. Remember your uniform cut. What he said, your uniform would probably probably cut the damage in half. Yes, that's yes, right. And there's, and there's only one gun, so that's half yeah. right there. Okay, so you you get nailed with the gun. You take three damage. Okay. So how many hit points do you have? Dude, I got some hit points. Let me see where did my hit points go. You had eighteen, right? If I remember right. If I could find it, I need to. Here we go. Where? I don't remember where my hit points. Hit points, yeah, eighteen. You're right. Okay, so you should have a spot there where where you can keep keep track of of how much di damage you've taken. Um, okay. You, you you can write that in the book, or you can keep track of it in, in a separate spot. There is a damage record, so you could basically mark off that you just took three damage. Okay, I'm just gonna and, put it on my ma main note. All right. But that erase it. Yeah. That, three. Um, I, I've it. seen I've seen people take so much damage over like use the same spot to keep track of damage over the years that they erased off through their character sheet. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. Um, well, I'll have a better system next time. Yeah. Uh, so uh, okay, so that's uh, that's the Kalen shooting you there, and then um, uh, let's see, and then it's going to uh, uh, what are we doing here? Um, I think the body is going to take a. Uh, um, a shot at uh, um, at Chaz, but it's going to be an unmodified shot because he doesn't have the ability to see clearly. And uh, does does a sixteen hit you, Chaz? Uh well, yes. If it's got to match my force field AC, then then yeah, sixteen does. Hit. Okay, all right. So with the with the light pistol, ooh, that's ten damage. Holy crap! That's more damage than I took. Yeah, yeah. I'm here just to take damage. 
Well, all right. So um, we're going to pause away from this fight a second to to where, where Cheshire is. All right, Alex? You still with us, buddy? I don't know here. I don't Alex, think so. Alex, can, can you can you hear? He starts making hello computer jokes. Um, uh, <laughs> now, uh, oh, Alex, are are you there? Maybe, maybe. Can 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 you hear me? Okay. Is <laughs> having trouble with the internet? Damn you, internet! Oh, um. Uh, Dwight, so uh, yeah, you jumped in. Okay, so what we have is um, on the Cyber Symbiosis uh, Facebook page, I, I have a, uh, yes. a, a photo gallery where I'm posting all the battle maps. If you want to check those out, Alex seems to be having internet troubles today. All right, well, we're going to keep going with you guys until he gets that sorted out. Um, all right, um, except maybe uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to text him real quick. Uh, you froze. All right, he'll have to re maybe reset his router or something. All right, guys, let's get back to the top. Chaz, you're up. Well, I'm gonna take another. I'm gonna take another shot at the head. All right. Take another get him, shot. buddy. Get him. Oh, nat twenty. Okay, Oops. we're gonna call that good enough. <laughs> Okay, so hey, so you there open you go. fire. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, <laughs> or or you yell assimilate this and open fire. Um, <laughs> assimilate this. <laughs> well, actually, yeah. no, it's Worf that said that. Yeah, yeah Worf finally got to get assimilate got his, this. He got his bitch in one liner. Yes, that is going to <laughs> annihilate the head. We'll just call the head destroyed, Chaz. Okay. Um, all right, JP. Don't look that up on the internet. What the head was destroyed. Yeah, <laughs> that was like that. Don't, don't, don't look that up. <laughs> All right, JP, you're up. What do you want to do? All right, so he he he, he fired upon the head and hit it. Yeah, and it was so, destroyed. Okay. Yes. Okay. So what happens is uh, I should mention this. So there's a thing called a natural twenty in these games. So you have uh, when you roll on a d20, if you get a twenty by itself. With no other, like, you don't have to worry about any modifiers. It just results in an automatic success. So in most cases, um, that would be like you would automatically do double damage or in some weapons do more. But in this particular case, um, because the head had already taken a hit, we're just going to say annihilated. Okay. Uh, that fool got annihilated. Um, yeah. So what am I going to do? Okay. So the, sh the ship's basically uh, been taken over. Go ahead. Um, JP, so uh, uh, Alex is backstage. He needs you to l let let him back in. Maybe. Um, Let's see. I was waiting to see his video. Yeah. But now it's just uh, def his deflectors are up really high. Maybe he'll okay. maybe he'll pop in. We'll just we'll just wait. Yeah, he'll no he'll beam in. Yeah, he'll, he'll beam in. So so anyways, so if you roll a one natural one, however, we call the fumble, and that results in a situation where you basically just fail catastrophically at, at, yeah. at whatever you're trying to do. Um, depending on the timing, that could actually make for some uh, some fun results. Um, uh, yes, yes, B man. Later. Uh, yes, I'm just yes. Crit fails to apply. So, uh, anyways, JP, it's your turn. What are you going to do? Well, according to my friend Michael, uh, I know that Benny's uh, has been here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and he's all out of bubblegum, so I got to take care of this situation. But, but um, is, is the bubblegum. Well, this is just one room. It had one K-Lon in it. I, see, uh, I did seal the door, right? Yes, you did. I sealed the door, so no Kalon are going to come in anytime soon. Uh, but the whole ship needs help. Correct. Should I send out a distress call for other ships to come help us? Well, there are a lot of ships out there currently battling against can the Kalon. Those uh, damn Kalon. I can't. Yeah, we, we can hear you. Yeah, can't can, see you yet. Can't see you, Alex. Twenty-first century. Good enough. <laughs> so, so we're in this on our. The Redenbacher is is alone right now. Uh, so well, we'll it, it, it's part of a larger battle, but you guys are currently alone because you're dealing with uh, repelling the you know the the boarding party. So, yeah. Um, you're still in a room with a body walking around. Destroying the head did not kill the Kalon. So. Oh, we need to take uh, this guy down. Yes, um, yes you do. 
I, maybe I can shoot his. I, I got to shoot him. I got to. I got to try to destroy this guy. At least well, take his legs out. Yeah, I mean, you are allowed to shoot him in the back. You can. I mean, the the body's walking around without a head. Um, it's not going to have the full optical capabilities. It clearly can tell where it is, but. Um, mm. You know, maybe it's just got motion sensors or something. But yeah, you would be able probably to, can't fire at me or anything. Yeah, if you want to position yourself to shoot him in the back, you can totally do it. I mean, it's just a robot. I mean, you know, it's not like it's dishonorable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just a robot. It's just a toaster. Let's yeah. take this toaster out. I need to fire okay. upon this fool from the back. All right, so you you can yeah maneuver yourself uh, open fire. So in this case, uh, we're I, I have a rule called uh, opportunity. Oh, okay. Alex, hey, you made it. <laughs> So what, what what that's gonna be is uh it, it's a it's a different level of bonus. So what what it'll be is, is since you're shooting in the back, um you'll be able to increase your proficiency die. So in this case, you roll a d6 in addition to a d20. So you'll be more likely mm -hmm. to hit. But my buddy Barry says no. Try rerouting the ship's deflectors into an EMP device. Well, you can do that, but you still have a have a have a have a threat right now. That's true. It is an immediate threat. Uh, we have yeah. to take this guy out first, and then we can get to that. So yeah. I need a D6, you said. Yes. Which is, which one? Uh, the, the the cube. The cube. Yes. Yeah. Regular die. Yes. That's a cube right here. All, All right, right I'm going to roll this bad boy. Just with give it a roll. Uh, well, you, you roll that with, oh, with, with, with a D20. It, yeah, because we use proficiency dice, so you you get um, you add that as your bonus. And then okay. You, and then you're going to get your plus two. So roll them. All right, here we go. Rolled. I did it. What'd you get? Right. Oh. Did you send me proper D20? <laughs> I saw oh. it. Is it betraying what, you? What'd you get? <laughs> I got a four. Okay, outrageous. Um, well, you're okay. burning up your bad luck. Yeah, yeah that's right. There you go. Um, and, that, and the regular die, the D6, you want to know yeah, that one? A one. A one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, some people, uh, because there's a lot of superstitions surrounding their dice, when they get unhappy with the die rolls, they will uh, set one of those aside and grab their other d20. You did get uh, you know, a, a, a couple options there. So you, you can switch out for a different one if you like. No, I like the pretty blue. It's very it's an Oroville blue. I'm gonna keep give it. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm applying physics to my dice rolls. I, I am personally of the opinion, having over the years seen various games and how people interact with their dice, that it there is an X factor there beyond simply uh, the laws of physics. Mm. Uh, your relationship with your die and how much you love it does have an impact. Uh, I just and, barely met this die, so yeah. it'll, it'll be it'll be a little while before we get to know each other. Okay, good. Got to um, uh, speak smoothly to it. Yeah, That's but, right. But, but I, I, I mean, I've die. definitely seen people, um, you know, pull. Uh, <laughs> you use lucky dice, yes. Uh, I, I've definitely seen people pull off Im impossibilities. Oh my god. Okay, so the Kalon, um, it turns on the controls and just opens fire. <laughs> and it blow, blows up the main terminal or one of them. Damn it! We needed that terminal for the next phase after we get this full down. Yeah, that's that's uh, that that is correct. But it may have felt that uh, stopping you guys was more important than than uh, than having access to the terminal. Um, okay, so we're gonna pause and move over to Alex. All right, Alex, give me an initiative roll just for how you would interact if you happen to meet up with these guys. Oh, you need you have any dice? Insert uh, chat. Chaz, you 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 rolled your twenty for Alex. Certainly. <laughs> um, dum, 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 dum. Uh, eleven on the dice. All right, what 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 does that give you, Alex? Fifteen total. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, good lord. Um, all right. Uh, Chaz and JP both roll a d twenty and let me know what you got. I got a four. I got a nine. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I got a rock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, got it figured out here. Thank you. All right, Alex. Uh, oh, um, okay. So I also need... Um, okay. Uh, Chaz, roll me a d20 as well. And let me know what you got. Uh, 
Uh, 11. Okay. All right, Alex. So you're 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 blowing open the locker that you you're pretty sure ha has has your shit in it. Um, I'll write my first my first four letter word of the night. Um, so uh, okay, so you um, based upon the die roll that was just made for you, you're not a hundred percent sure that you didn't break something in the process of blowing the locker open. Um, if you want to spend a um, uh, one of your luck die to guarantee that all your stuff is intact. You can, you can. Otherwise, we will. Uh, you, you, you will lose one item at random from 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 your 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 uh, equipment list. Oh, let's go with that. Okay, so spend the luck die. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. So, um, Alex, you open it up. Uh, by some miracle, you managed to not hit your your stuff. So you see your jacket, which operates similar to a uniform jacket that that uh, Jay Pulio is wearing. You find your gun. Um, you find your titanium knuckles, and you find um, a personal scanner. All right. Put on the jacket, the hat, and uh, put the pistols that I got from the Fallen into my pockets. Okay. And then uh, grab my personal gun and scanner. Okay. And, and you're personal communicator and all the, you know, the yeah. those little things. So, um, and then take a look at what kind of terminals are in here. Uh, you have access to the main security terminal, um, which, uh, you know, everything in the room is currently locked down in order to, in order to do anything with the security terminal, you would have to, uh, to break into it. You, 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 you have to make a security check. Security check. Yes. It's based on real <clears throat> power. Right. All right. Actually, I think I'm actually going to look for survivors. Look for survivors? Yeah. Okay. I'm a survivor. Yeah, find me. Hurt. Right. <laughs> see what kind of uh, situations going on. Yeah. Um, if, if, if this were Family Guy, we'd have a cutaway to a band, the band survivor right now. Um, <laughs> so, um, you can definitely go out and look. You also, the security terminal would have access to that kind of information. Oh, okay. Uh, utilize that. So computers or? Uh, security to break in. So so, so I, I need a security check uh, to gain access to, to, to the terminal. All right. I'll give that a try if uh, one of you can roll. Alex is, uh, so M Mike is offering to roll for you. Um, hey, Mike. Sounds good. Uh, why don't you just go ahead and roll every single time you see that Alex is having to roll something? Just get it out there as fast so we don't waste time. Um, um, Thank you, Mike. Yeah. It's coming. It's coming. The rolls. Yeah. Actually, Mike, what I want you to do is I want you to roll um, six rolls in a row and just post them, and I'll just go back and refer to those every time Alex needs to do something. Alex, no, no peeking. <laughs> Don't worry, I don't have the chat open. That works. All right, Mike, come on, make it rapid fire. Let's do it. It's coming. It's coming. Yep. I'm getting six yeah. of these babies. While you, while it's rolling, I'm gonna since I'm in the shuttle bay, I'm gonna go to the P corner real quick. Okay, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you in a moment. You you you, you go Jaloja. Okay. I go right. Jaloja as well. So all right. Reservoir. Alex, are you prof uh, uh, pr pr proficient on uh, on security? No. Okay. Uh, what's your willpower bonus? Plus two. Plus two. Okay. So you managed to. Um, okay. Let me write these numbers down. Actually. So. Nine. Okay. So you managed to get access to a few superficial systems, but you don't have total access. Um, you're you're aware that um, in the immediate area um, there are no life signs showing up at all and uh you can also see the the red alerts and you know that the you're in a, like the at the moment it's not detecting any kalon in the immediate area um of, of, of the ship um but there is uh um they, they basically already swept through here and killed everybody that that um, that they could but there is um you know they uh it looks like they may have o overwhelmed the, uh, the the marine forces that were on the ship and 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 have uh, broken out of the area where, where they were. Uh, let's see. 
that being the case, see what uh, the next area either of um, the hostile units are or see if there's uh, what the next uh, life signs are. Well, you are detecting life signs in, in the cargo bay, and it looks like um, you, you detect two more Kalon closing in on that location. Uh, there are... Um, uh, you you can definitely tell that there are, are two people in, in, in the control room, and it looks like they're fighting a Kalon. And there are, yeah, it looks like two more Kalon are closing in on, on the, that, that location right now. But, Is there communication yeah. to, uh, to that uh, room? To that bay? Uh, no. Um, the only way you would get that is if you manage to uh, penetrate the, uh, um, the you know, actually uh, un unlock the, the, the full function of the security terminal. But but you 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 could just get on you know like the, the comms and just do a shipwide communication to whoever ever is listening in, but that could also reveal your location too. Uh, fair enough. Um, I will. But yeah, you're also not far from that area. Um, you you yeah, I'm you could, you could rush there area. quickly. Okay. All right. Cool. So you so you're 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 moving in. Um, are you going to try to go around the uh, the Kalon that are that are closing in, or do you want to flank them? I uh, could see about flanking them. Okay. All right. So, all right, cool. So you, um, uh, let's see, give me, uh, give me an intellect check. So I guess that next roll that you have on your list. Okay. Woody. All right. Um, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. So that, yeah. So you're, you're pretty sure that you'll be able to move into a side hallway where where you could um, catch them on the way uh, in, in, into a like kind of a a, a, a surprise attack, um, uh, as, as they come by, or, or you can uh, try to maneuver behind them. It'd be up to you. Um, yeah, I'll see about uh, sniping them from the side. Okay, good. Uh, Mike, uh, he has a D four, but I think I'll have uh, one of these guys roll that when it comes up, just to make that a little faster. Okay. Um, all right. So we're give me a second while I re redo uh, uh, redo my map space. Now loading. All right. I'm just happy to be back. Nice. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, and then um. So for your character, what's your kind of colors? Well, I was thinking, you know, uh, right. blue green, maybe more blue than green. Okay, sounds good. So, uh, similar to like norms, except uh, much more on the blue spectrum. Opposed, yeah, to like not eyes. not that sort of sickly yellow. I'm I'm thinking something more healthy what? looking. Wait, you don't want to be part of uh, Musinex? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> that should have been your character name, Musinex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just uploaded two photos. One of them is, is, is an update of what, what's happening in the control room. And the second one is going to be Alex uh, with Cheshire. So you know that you've got two Kalons coming down the hall um, where, where where you are right now. And uh, you're by yourself in a side corridor. And uh, there isn't really a lot of options for you to you know, duck for cover. So you're going to have to hope hope this goes exactly your way. But... You, you are going to be primed for a surprise attack so you're going to get a surprise round on them plus plus your 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 uh, regular attack if if you were higher on initiative so JP a surprise round occurs when you have a situation where you catch an enemy by, by surprise okay so Alex um, as you're standing there um, uh, hunkering against the wall um, are you going with with two, two guns or, or just the one? And <clears throat> oh, uh, 101 Space Monkey so, asked a question. So, the, the, the characters are on board a ship called the uh, uh, which you, of course, catch this um, in the recap. It's the uh, the Redenbacher, and uh, the Kalon have boarded it. And so, we're uh, we're, we're fighting off boarding parties. Those jerk Kalons, they board whoever they want to board. That is correct. Um, and you did say the ones that I picked up were energy pistols, right? Uh, yes, yeah. So you 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 have two uh, um, plasma pistols, and then you also have the the gun that you started with. Um, 
I'm gonna go with the uh, uh, the fallen union guns. Okay. See how well the, they do. All right. The the the, the two plasma pistols. All right. Yeah. So you you got two of those in hand. All right. So with two weapon fighting, you get to make two attacks, but you only get your damage bonus on one of them. Um, so the Kalon coming to view, and you uh, open fire. Alex, get, give me two strike rolls, please. You got it on the list. Oh, that's correct. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, hey, Mike. Uh, why don't you send me um, the list? Just DM me in uh, in uh, Discord. It'd be a little easier to put him on the on, on the on on the post. I'm gonna need six more rolls. All right. So Alex, and the, thank you, uh, Mike. the... <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, as they come into view, you open fire with two guns, and and you successfully hit. So, um, uh, Chaz, can I can I get uh, four d six damage, please? Yep. And then my plan, Woody, is yeah. after sniping them, mm -hmm. run like as fast as I can towards uh, the bay. Okay. All right. No problem. Uh, the damage roll was a total of nine. Nine damage. Okay, noted. Outrageous. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So you. Um, okay. So you. So oh, hold on. Let me move in. Over here. All right. Get them moved in up just a little bit. Okay. So you open fire. Uh, that shot does not kill the one, but it. Uh, we'll say it take takes off one of his arms. And um, uh, where's my Got all these, you know, this is one of the times when I when I, I wish I had three computer monitors. <laughs> Ooh, um, is it a uh, right or left arm? Uh, we're gonna say it's his right arm. So you blew off his right arm, and you did some damage to his chest area, but that did 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 not mm -hmm. kill it. Um, and and Kalon don't need arms to shoot you. Uh, so Alex, uh, since it was you got the surprise round, you can still move if you want to. Do you want to do that? Yes. My okay, plan uh, is to uh, run towards the bay. Okay, you'll uh, well, you, you you know that that that, that there's a door there. Um, there well, there's two doors in the hall that you can get to. There's a side door, which I think you can see the side door in in the picture. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo. Yes, so that there's a side door, and then if you run down the hall, you get to the main door to the actual control room. Uh, do you want to go the side door, or do you want to do the control room door? Um, from what I recall, when I was checking the security. It looked like it was more towards the main door, right? Yeah. Well, if 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 you if you head through the um, at the end of the hall is a control room door to the main, uh, which, which is basically like like the main office that overlooks the the hangar, and so that that would be where 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 the two guys are are are, are fighting the the Kalon. Hi. Uh, that's where I'm <laughs> planning to go. Okay. All right. So Alex, you went you go running towards the door and you reach the door. Um, in, uh, in in one movement, and you kind of run into it, and the door doesn't automatically open. And as you reach there, you realize the door's locked. There's the the red lights there. Um, it's uh, getting in is uh, not going to be easy, and you might find yourself in a, in, in 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 a kill zone. Um, but you are uh, you are going to be able to take uh, since that th that was your surprise round. You can now act normally and get get a, get your regular attack, and you are acting before the Kalon. So. If you uh, here, let, let me update the picture for you. Well, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? How are you gonna overcome this situation? All right. So. All right. I'm gonna turn, crouch, and see about uh, firing, firing again, and trying to put yourself in the in the. Uh, make make less of a target uh, out of yourself. Yeah. All right. Good. Uh, okay. Give, give me two strike rolls. I assume you're gonna want to shoot the one that you injured first, right? Correct. All right. Do it. Double tap. You have them, Woody. Oh, that's right. I'm yes, correct. Okay. So, um, all right. So, uh, I'm gonna need a D4 roll uh, uh, out of you, Chaz. Okay. <laughs> if I can pick it up. Come on. Come in. Uh, four. Four. Okay, uh, Alex. You. Uh, what. What. What was your agility bonus? Four. Plus Perf four. Oh, really? Well, you. You nailed him. G give me two d six, please. Uh, s somebody roll two d six. Okay, or... I got that. Okay. Thank you, Chaz. Ooh, eleven. Perfect. Nice. You annihilated that. Uh, that Kalon. 
He, he got can him. Down. Oh, and, and yes, I, I am using the uh, Iron Patriot for Kalon. <laughs> that's all I had available. Um, <laughs> for, for some reason, I didn't think to buy a whole bunch of, uh, of um, uh, Ultron miniatures. Maybe I'll fix that in the future. Um, all right, Alex, you have one more attack available to you. Um, you can either um, open fire or you can use your minor action in hopes of somehow getting that door open. Uh, um, I, would I, that be security if I do that, or is it? Um, well, you, that that would be like uh, an actual major action um, to use security. You would basically um, what you would essentially have to do is bang on the on the on the. Uh, well, I don't know. It's, it kind of depends what you want. If you want to spend a luck die, I know I'm burning up your luck dice, but um, spend a luck die and slam that panel, and it would definitely open. You could also do the Star Wars method and shoot it, and hope it opens. You know. You can no, also no, ask no, very no. nicely. Yeah, you can also ask very nicely. You know, yeah. Well, well, because the other thing you could do is you can also hit 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 the communications panel and say, "Open the effing door now." <laughs> the door's right, name well, is Sesame. Action of, uh... In the oh. hangar bay, open the uh, sodding door. Okay. Uh, oh, and by the way. Uh, P P PJ finally made it. He's he's in the chat. Hi, PJ. Sorry you couldn't be here today. Um, and okay, so guys, uh, okay, so we're we're back to the um, to the uh, uh, top of the round. You guys are in the control room, and suddenly the uh, the, the 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 comms just lit up, and then somebody's outside the door demanding you guys to open it, please. Oh man! Well, they oh. sound human. They do. Uh, you guys don't recognize the voice immediately. Um, uh, unless you guys want to give me memory checks to see if you recognize the voice of your prisoner. Well, I just hope it's not that damn pirate. <laughs> okay, so if you guys want to roll memory, you basically roll a d20 with, with your intellect bonus, and then um, just ro roll higher than a 10. All right. I got a 16. 10 or higher. All right. All right. Roll higher than a 10. Me too? Here we go. Yeah, go ahead. Fifteen. Okay, mm. so you guys both recognize the voice of the space pirate, and he is begging you guys to let to let him in. Oh, Hello, God. Thomas Henry. Should we let him in? Well, what happened with the? I'm sorry. What happened with the one Kalon that was in here that was still alive that was blowing up the the panels? You're still fighting him. Uh, we 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 need some backup. I guess we should should we let the pirate in do some pirate jujitsu on the dude? Um, Ch Chaz, you're the closest to the panel. You 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 could just open the door right now. Okay, I'll do that. I'll just pseudo pot up and whatever I need to do. Okay, good. All right. So, um, Chaz, you uh you you use your action, uh, your minor action. You hit the button. The door opens. Alex, the door's not open. You could use your move for the rest of the turn and roll in. All right. Kirk roll on in there and uh Jordy also had a pretty awesome role. Fair point. Yeah. But um Jordy on in there just doesn't sound the same. That, that, yeah, that, that's that true. is true. Okay. All right. Let, let me let me uh re restage the map. Hold on. Oh, it um it worked in Farscape. Yes, it did. <laughs> All right. Dead. All right. So, um, okay. all right. Camera. Jaloja to, to Thomas Landry in El Dorado, Kansas. All Welcome right. to the Orville universe. Okay. Picture's coming. <clears throat> we'll forge your way in. I love it. Uh, okay. Guys. <laughs> so, Alex, I, I put you right around the corner for cover. Um, and then, so there's one Kalon in the hall. You guys have the headless one currently in the room with you. Um, all right, so uh, Chaz, uh, Alex has taken his turn for the round. He just completed it by moving. Um, you, of course, open the door. Oh. You still have uh, a major action and a movement um, and, and a Kalon to kill. What do you want to do? Okay, well, I'm going to I'm gonna open fire on the remaining Kalon. All right, give me a strike roll, please. Oh crap! Seven. Oh shoot! With, uh, with with bonuses, can can you squeak seven points out of that? No, I've got a four plus three. Okay. Um. <laughs> so, so, uh, 
Uh, okay, so what's what's your total unless, final unless, roll? what? So so what 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 what's your final roll out of that? A seven. Seven total of seven. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, yeah. nope, you missed. Uh, okay. Well, you've got a minor. Uh, so you got you got a movement. Do you, do you want to move anywhere? Uh, can I skip movement and close the door? Um, yes, I will allow that, but you won't lock it. Okay. Um, Mike, that's good for now. Um, so, uh, okay, so the, the door is closed, which would force somebody to have to open it to get in the room. Um, okay, so we got that. And then, uh, all right, JP. All right. What do you want to do? So is uh, Cheshire in the room with us? He is, and you still have That's a headless right. Kalon. Gone. Okay. Uh, I, well, I got. I got to try to take this Kalon out. That is the main danger. It is. Uh, how do I take him out? Can I? Okay. So, so g- give me a strike roll. So roll a. Um, uh, if you want to maneuver yourself with your back to the door, you you can shoot him in the back again. Otherwise, you just stand where you are and open fire. <clears throat> Uh, this got to be fast. So I just got a front and back. I don't think matters with a headless Kalon. So I just want to stand where I am and fire. Okay. You'll be shooting him in the side. So give me a strike roll. So you roll a D20 with a D4 and apply your agility bonus. Is the four the pyramid one? Yes, it is. All right. Here we go. All right. I got a five with the D20 and then I got a two. Oh, no. That's the D four, and then what did you need? Agility, you said. Yes, you're yeah, not your agility. Good. Yeah, your agility bonus, uh, which is oh, plus two. two. Uh, so five, you know six, what? seven, um, eight, nine. Uh, hold on, somebody just pointed out something. Thank you very much. You actually get the flanking bonus, uh, so that actually brings it up by an additional plus two, which uh, afraid won't be enough. Uh, wait a minute, Chaz. What 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 was your modified roll? A seven. With okay, sorry, you <laughs> even with the flanking bonus, you guys did not make it. Um, damn it, this <laughs> Kalon, yeah, SOB it has no sensors or anything, it's just kind of well, he, he's, he's running around with, with his motion sensors, and that's pretty much it. Can I just kick him in his nuts and bolts? Uh, <laughs> yes, I will let you move up and in, and, and that's my uh, one liner, by the way. It's my character's yes. job to do one liners. Um, if you want to move up on him and just get in his way, you absolutely can do that. I want to do that. Okay. Um, what do you do when you see two Yafits? You, you you see birth. You see the miracle of life. Uh, okay. That's right. Um, all right. So you 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 just get up in his business. Um, I'm going right. to get up in his grill. Yes. Okay. So that actually turns out to be a smart move. Maybe not for your health, but it does, however, prevent him from effectively opening fire and doing anything else because he'll have to shove you aside. So what the Kalon does actually is uh, – Picks you up by the uniform, <laughs> and uh, how? <clears throat> yes. It's already tight fitting. Y- yes, and uh, um, slams you in, 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 into the control console that he just <clears throat> shot. So you are going. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So what that's going to be is how strong is this dude? Okay, twenty uh, fours. All right, JP, you are going to take uh, six damage. Six damage. Yep. Man. Gotta write that down. Six damage. Got it. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Uh, hold on. It's actually only four because I forgot he doesn't have a melee die. So that that's actually only going to be four damage. Four damage. All right. I'm still doing all right. And then... Still uh, not dead. Yep. And then it... Uh, um, it uh, goes over to one of the other consoles and attempts to start monkeying with the uh, the controls uh, and um, starts uh, triggering some some other functions down down in the uh, in, in 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 the cargo bay. Um, <clears throat> all right, um, the emperor protects. Nice. Um, okay, so back to the top, Alex. What are you going to do? All right. So Ichabod there. I'm going to see about trying to destroy it. Okay. Uh, give, give, give me a strike roll, please. Engage, Woody. <laughs> oh, that's correct. Yes. Uh, all right. Somebody roll me a D4, please. 
Uh, no, wait. Make I it got a D that. Six, make it a D six because we we uh um be, be, because he's distracted. Okay, I got that. Four. What do you got? Four. Okay, Four. Alex, you hit. Um, Alex hits. Somebody give me some. Uh, give me two D six damage, please. Okay, I got that. Uh, ten. Ten. Have you guys actually shot the body yet on this thing? I realize I don't have anything down. I don't think you have. No, no, you no, shot no, the head. no. Neither one of us have shot the body. Oh. All right, so, Alex, you want to shoot it? Yeah, uh, shoot it with the second one. So, how well is Ichabod okay. looking? Uh, looking pretty rough. There's a massive scorch mark where you hit him. Yeah, scorched. I can be buffed out though. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right. Um, do, do, so, uh, uh, so, uh, do, do you want to shoot him again, Alex? Yes. Okay, that'll be all right. Uh, somebody give me, um, uh, Chaz, can you roll a d6 for me again? Yep. Two. Okay. Uh, that should be enough, Alex. You, you, you hit. Um, roll, roll two d six, somebody. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you, Chad. Six or sorry, five, five. Okay, that's gonna finish him off. That 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 will will end that Kalon threat. And then I will All say, right. that, uh, there's one down the hallway. Uh, reprogramming him is not out of the question, but not in the middle of a crisis like this. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah, to take do, too long. Yeah, take too long. Um, all right. So, Alex, do you, okay. Um, uh, we'll reprogram his ass. Okay. While Damn I'm right there, on. while I'm right there, I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna lock the door. Okay. Great. Um, all right. So, Chaz, you uh, you you lock the door, so that uh, that seals it again. Um, and uh, probably not a mom moment too soon. Uh, what else do you want to do? Uh, well, if I can do s something else, I want to get out my engineering scanner, log on, okay, and see if I can gain access to to anything that will help me create uh, an EMP pulse. Pulse. Okay. Okay. So you um, you you log in, and there definitely isn't anything. Um, you, you potentially could have. Uh, overloaded the tractor beam system to do that, but at the moment it looks like your only option would be to go down and gain access to one of the shuttles. Um, okay, so you guys uh, can have, I have to go down into the bay? But you're only detecting can something I use else. My there. Ooziness to can I use my ooziness to to get out and maybe get into the walls or something uh, so that that would we don't yeah. have to unlock the door. Totally. But you're also detecting something else. Uh, the uh, scanners are also detecting um, another breaching pod closing in on the cargo bay from the exterior. There, there, there's more Kalon coming. Oh! Now is the cargo bay open? Um, it, it is currently. Um, the uh, it 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 does look like the Kalon had been attempting to make the ship vulnerable for for another boarding party. Uh, can I try to throw up a force field over the uh, opening of the cargo bay? Well, well, technically there's already a force field there because it has the atmospheric shield. Uh, what you would want to do right, is that's uh, nothing. That no, that, that is correct. You you you'd want to bring in um, the, the the full full defensive shield. Um, yeah. Yes, you can you can attempt to do that. Um, okay. So, but so what I need you to do is I need you to make an engineering check. And then it'll be rolled against the uh, the piloting check of, of the K-line that's controlling the breaching pod. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. So, uh, nine. Nine. Okay. So I'm afraid that when you um, you you raise the shield, uh, you don't you actually end up shearing the pod in half, and r r rather than stopping <laughs> the whole thing. Um, so the uh, the pod half of the breaching pod makes it in and lands, and more Kalons start swarming the deck, though in a right. more of a uh, chaotic and somewhat humorous sense since they get tossed everywhere. But uh, they're 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 not going to be dead. Well, that's not what we wanted. <laughs> no, it is We're not just trying to deal wanted. with this one Kalon, and now we got a whole bunch of them. Yeah, and now there's also um, you guys realize that the door behind you is starting to glow. Um, because the K-Line out in the hall is opening fire on it. 
Oh, wow. <clears throat> Should we just kill ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, the okay. So the um, uh, or over the loudspeakers at this point, um, a, vo a very familiar voice comes through. It's, it's a security chief, uh, Tharl. And he says, uh, sounding a bit more serious than he usually does. And he says, uh, righteous. Hey, yeah, everyone, we do not have a righteous situation. <laughs> um, this is yeah, not a mellow uh, alert. No, it's not a mellow alert. No, the, uh, the, the, the Kalon have taken the bridge and the, 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 the ship is falling. Um, I am now acting uh, captain, and I am ordering all crew to abandon ship and and reach the relay point. Uh, the attack on the Kalon station has failed, and the fleet is retreating. Ugh. Well, an order is an order, get, right? Get, get the, yeah, get get so to your I escape start, pods. Start moving towards one of the shuttles. Okay, so down below you see there's eight more Kalon on the ground, which are. Uh, Getting to getting to their feet and moving towards uh, um, hallways where they can penetrate deeper into the ship. Um, mm -hmm. There are two type uh, type one shuttles there, and there's the starfighter that your character had been using, which is also parked in in, in the bay. Alex, um, your starfighter does not have FTL capability, so obviously the shuttle might be a more of a desired uh, exit point. But um, you guys would still like cannot just go down there right now because all that would be is a, is another firefight with overwhel overwhelming uh, uh, opposition. But reaching an escape pod from where you guys are is a bit more realistic. Though, though, admittedly, the the Kalon are ignoring the, the the shuttles and they're not dealing with them. Uh, if you guys wanted to wait for for us for us to take a shuttle, you'd have to deal with the Kalon out in the hall. If you want to go for an escape pod, you could just go now through through an access hatch. Okay, so we're in the office above the cargo bay, right? Yes, correct. Uh, looking down the cargo bay. Uh, yeah. And Benny is down in the cargo bay. Uh, well, he, he, he hasn't yet. Um, he, he hasn't yet. He, he was preparing to do that, but then then this this announcement came over the loudspeaker. Gotcha. So that, uh, is, may change what he wants to do. Okay, so there's a shuttle available. He can get to – if he's able to get there and, and not get caught, he can get a shuttle – Correct. Would you be able to then get into that shuttle, shoot the the office? We see him, so we duck. <laughs> kills the Kalon, opens yeah. the back door. We jump in and we fly out the sh the car the shuttle bay. That is a valid plan. That could absolutely. Do, do you have? <laughs> are you up for it, Benny? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so he he okay. shoots the Walk office windows, shelter, takes that Kalon out. And we're free right. to jump into the back. All right. Because you said the Kalon aren't worried about the shuttles right now. They are. They're probably worried. targeting the shuttles escape direct. pods. Uh, uh, well, that's a good question. So far, the Kalon have been more concerned with taking out ships and taking out escape pods. But um, you know, a, a, an escape pod is is a valid way way to way, way to get away. I mean, it, it is a ship. It would give you something to pilot. But, but would people tune into that? Would they watch that episode? <laughs> well, I think that I think that making a daring escape in a, in a shuttle is definitely going to be way more exciting than <laughs> jumping. I think it would be pod. very exciting. <laughs> yeah, but the roles have sucked <laughs> in this game. They've been low. Well. JP, maybe um, it's that necessary part. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I might. Maybe I'll try a different uh, die. And remember, well, also, you, you know, I, I, I like believe I sent you a die that will stare at you when you roll a natural twenty. Really? Let me see. I got well, I got the blue one that I've been using, but I have a white one and I have a black one. Well, one of the d20s I sent you, it might be the blue one, has a has an eye embedded in it. Yes, I remember seeing that. I think it is the blue one. Yeah, there yeah, it is. So when you, yeah, when you roll a natural twenty, it it, it it's looking at you with an opinion. That's yeah. that's some <laughs> Sauron stuff. Yes, we're going on an adventure. So yeah, there's that, my that plan, was, you guys. That's up to yeah, you. Because yeah. so, so Benny's the, the that, one down there on the ground. About that die, I signed up for a Kickstarter, and they was they had Dragon Eye dice, and it was really cool. My wife really wanted some, and it took them so long to fulfill it. Competing products beat them to market. Really <laughs> so frustrating. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so frustrating. Um. 
<clears throat> All right. Oh, someone, uh, Thomas Landry. So your uh, your your dad's celebrating an well, happy anniversary to your dad. Um, happy anniversary. Yeah. Happy anniversary. Or no, he's celebrating his aunt and uncle's birthday. Well, we're at, we're happy anniversary to somebody. Um, okay. So I think JP, uh, I Chaz, think you have like a good idea. All right. It's the daring right. escape. It's uh, also, it's I the... mean, if we do a sh uh, shuttle, that definitely does give more possibilities than just a. Uh, escape pod yeah no, no kidding okay so um listen all right so listen, chaz i i've 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 still got my i've still got my um blaster or uh plasma pistol mm -hmm, mm -hmm. against eight k long could i <laughs> could, could i rig it to overload and go off and throw it like a grenade oh and like you yes, should be able that, to. Get down right there and throw it in the middle of the K-Long. And... Okay. So which button, here, okay, so which what button would that be? Um, what what engineering skills do you have? Um, do, you, do, you have do you have, uh, do you have uh, like skills for that kind of weapon? Well, I have, well, I've got, I've got a uh, proficiency with uh, particle wave tech. Uh, I'm proficient okay. in energy pistols and rifles, military and industrial explosives, particle wave weapons. Um, uh, oh, did, did 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 you take a skill to be able to modify particle wave weapons? Uh let me see here. I've, uh, I'm particle wave weapons for those it's, who are it's listening. Part of, it's favors. part of my technical expert. Pick one engineering skill you possess. Double your proficiency die with that skill. Alternately, okay. you can select a tech skill you do not currently possess. Right. And and okay. the well, audience well, 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 from the... session zero told me to take particle wave weapons. Okay, so well, the question I had is: Did you take the ability to, in addition to being able to shoot them, did you also take the proficiency to, to work on that technology? That's. It sounds like you did I, actually. So we're we're well, okay. we're going to assume that that's what it is. So all right. So then, what I just need you to do is give me a uh, and and um, give me an intellect check, please, a proficient one. Come on. Ooh. 15. Okay, good. So you just need somebody to shoot the window. Does anyone like to shoot the window? I'll shoot the window. Okay. Oh, All GP, right. um, I, I probably should have done this sooner, but I hope you've been keeping track of how many shots you fired. Uh, I think there's ammo. two. You've got 50 shots in each pistol. I mean, come on. Yeah, I got, I got <laughs> more in me. There, yeah, there is, but like, just, just keep, keep track of how many you shot. Okay, so um, okay, all right. I think two so far. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. Uh, okay, so you open fire your third shot. You open fire, uh, burn a hole through 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 the window. Chaz, you uh, just give me a strike roll for tossing your grenade. It's a really use awesome. of miss on really Oh one. God. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? Do what I think you did? He really offered well, it up. I think this is going to be our it last session. <laughs> okay. Okay. I rolled it wasn't a my natural fault. one. Okay. I so rolled, JP, this I, is. I, I think some I money. have to spend a luck dice. What do you, I think? I have uh, to yes, you, you you may spend a luck die to reroll that. Oh my yeah. goodness! Yeah, natural one would have killed us all. No, no. <laughs> yeah, this is an everybody, been... every character situation. <laughs> okay, that's better. Fourteen. Okay, so what it would have done is wouldn't have killed you all. It would have let off an EMP pulse in the room. So okay, um, all right. So so here's what happens. You uh, <laughs> you you access a new quantum probability. You throw the th so you you <laughs> manage to, to to throw out your pseudopod. You throw that thing through the through the um. Uh, through the thing, it lands on the ground. The gun explodes, pops off an EMP pulse, and all of the Kalon drop to the ground. Okay. Nice. And they all like it drops to the ground. They look at it, and then they look at each other, and then it goes off, and they're down. Yes. yes That's how you play exactly that out. Like that. <laughs> exactly, exactly like that. <laughs> all right. So, uh, Chaz. You um yeah. you gonna ooze your way through the hole? Yeah. Don't look that up on the internet. 
yeah uh yeah we we, we need the glory hole um uh, sound right now um all right i'm not gonna look for it all right Chaz. uh so we're not gonna worry about roles i mean i i i think you can ooze your way down the wall uh, at this point yeah you make it to the sh shuttle and as you do, you see the Kalon start to get up because it was only a pistol uh, em em emitting an EMP pulse. It was an EMP. Um, yeah. Well, how, e EMP. I, 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 there's, there's nothing else I can do other than just try to get in the shuttle. Now entering glory okay. hole. Yes. <laughs> there it is. All right, Chaz. So you have entered the shuttle. I I have shuttle stats. I've actually been uh, busy figuring out what the ships can do. Um, I mean, are there weapons on the, on the shuttle? Do, okay, so yes, there are. Okay. Uh, uh, where's my thing? Okay. You'll learn a lot more about what the ships can do in the upcoming The Orville book coming out. The guy did The Orville by Andre Bormanis on September 24th. Link is in the description below. Yeah, I'm seriously hoping that his book doesn't contradict any any of the assumptions I made. <laughs> oh, you, that you I'm never know. You never know what they're coming up with. Yeah. All right. So, um, okay. So while Chaz is going for the shuttle, uh, the doorway um, that you guys are um, that's keeping you guys between um, it's between you guys and and the Kalon is melting. Uh, what are you guys going to do in the meantime with that problem? The doorway is melting. Yeah, because the Kalon's been shooting it, trying to get in the door to get you guys. There's and this is the Kalon door to the. Home. This is the door to the office. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yep. It's the door of the hallway out there where you guys uh, lock the door. Yeah. So, so like, even if we got through the, yeah, all right. We need that now because it's gonna have yeah. a lot of information yes, and the full will. schematics of the ship, which would also come in handy. Got it. Um, so. And the door's melting, and the other side of the door, even if it wasn't melting, is full of Kalon. Well, there, you know, there's one Kalon out there for sure. So that's enough uh, Kalon for me. What are the two of you guys going to do? Oh gosh! And the and the Kalons down in the uh, shuttle bay are back up on their feet. They are getting back to their feet. So uh, Benny was able. So to they're make distracted. It yeah, they'll be distracted with Benny. They have no problem getting it. Benny will get no problem getting the shuttle. But now he's lost the element of surprise for sure because they're going to be like, oh, well, oh, no, you don't. Um, well, they're still so, kind of so, stunned a little bit, gathering themselves. Yeah. We need to act fast sure, and get sure. that shuttle up to the window so we can jump out into it. So um, so, so the question is, is what are you guys, in the while, while Chaz is be out there being a hero, what are you guys going to do in the room with that door to bed that, that is currently melting? Um, uh, we need to stop it from melting. Cry. <laughs> yeah, uh, we need to uh, be they're, heroes they're, they're, as well. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, uh, Barry tells you guys you to find, come up with a ball and uh, cry. Cryogenic jun junction and start spraying. Uh, cryo yeah, can we pull it down? Uh, that is a possibility. Yeah, so uh, okay. Um, I I, I need an engineering sure check out of. Well, I would need an engineering check out of somebody to 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 find a cooling line of some sort. Um, I think that would be Jay Pulio. Yeah, I think I have engineering. Uh, engineering and sublight engines. Okay. So, yeah, uh, I, got, I got some engineering profession under my belt. Okay, so give me a proficient intellect check, please. How do I do that? Just roll, oh, uh, roll a d20 with a d4 and then add your intellect bonus. Okay, so I'm going to use the black d20 this time. Let me get okay. my D four. D four is the pyramid. All right, here yeah. we go. So, uh, 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 by the way, JP is using what we call the fuck yeah die. Yeah, it has the word yeah. yeah. I guess it might have the other word somewhere on it. it All right, here we go. Uh, Ready? S yeah. Do it. Yeah. 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 I got an eight. Yeah. And I got a four. Eight and four. Eight and four, I twelve. 12. Yeah. And what's 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 your intellect bonus, JP? Oh yeah, just one. So thirteen all together. That, that's good enough. Okay, you know that there is a coat line in the floor. So okay. you guys could uh, open that up. Um, all right. Uh, uh, 
so there, there's actually a, a couple of possibilities what you could do with that. But yeah, it's it, it, it's very close to the door. You guys just want to pry the plate open and 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 uh, um, try to direct it to the. Um, so there is a problem. It would have a good chance of freezing your hand. Uh, you might you might need uh, some way to touch it without being in danger. I'll grab it. Yeah, let the pirate do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's also got go. a cybernetic arm. Yeah. No, use the right. other one. Cool. What? <laughs> You're a pirate. That was my plan from the start. <laughs> All right. So, uh, okay. So you, you, you guys, uh, rip the plate open. Uh, you, you, you see the coolant line, Alex, grab with your cybernetic car and yank it up and, and just start shooting that stuff in, into the door, which of course do, does work. It, it buys you precious time, but it's also spewing toxins into the air. Oh, yeah, no. uh, it's going to be, yeah, it's gonna be a little hard to breathe in here in a minute. Um, JP, you, uh, got any thoughts on that? Receptions are notoriously great at holding their breath. Hello, ladies. And uh, uh, so I can hold my breath for a very long time. Uh, <laughs> I, have no, I have no proof of that. I just me, made it up. Let me, let me double check that because that, that's one of the abilities I Actually, gave to Lieutenant Dance Race. Actually, is there any uh, helmets or uh, kind of space, uh, space equipment in here? Yes. Yes, there are. So there should be um, like yes. some sort of uh, mask for breathing. Yep. There, 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 there would be emergency masks and spacesuits. If you want to, uh, JP, if you want to bust out the masks, you guys can hand those around. Yeah, let's do the masks. Masks. Okay. Um, masks. JP, you masks. The, there you go. When you open when you, when you open the locker, you also find a jetpack. I'm very good at jetpacks. Yes, I have. That's one of my professions: jetpacks, hover vehicles, motorcycles, yep. things like that. Yep. Uh, All right. Jetpack it. Smoke it. Oh, and I guess <laughs> I could wear that jetpack if yep. we. Um, put, I don't have to do right the jetpack. I'm putting on jetpack. And and uh, you toss uh, Cheshire a uh, um, uh, a mask, and then you guys. Uh, yeah, basically start uh, breathing your oxygen candle air until the uh, um, until uh, at, or as the room starts to fill up with uh, with a, a cold gas. With toxins. Yes. Okay, Chaz, you're you're on you're on the ground. Uh, you're on the shuttle bay. So you are in you you are in the shuttle. You have sealed the hatch, um, and the uh, the Kalen are are getting up. They are slow to respond, but they are quickly coming back online. I need a piloting check out of you to get that shuttle working. Well, luckily, um, all the shuttles should be in good order because they were they were getting ready for a mission. Uh, luckily, I am proficient as a pilot. Oh, that's a good idea, Ooh. Mike. We'll have to see if they think of that. Uh, where to go? Twenty six. Twenty six. Okay, you have just fired up the engines, and it is uh, coming online, and. And as you do, the uh, Kalon just start opening fire on the shuttle. <sighs> um, let's see. Let's just roll a few shots, just general, to see how many of them manage to, uh, to, to hit hit the hit the body of the thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's. Um, Do the shuttles have shields? Can I throw up shields? Yes, I believe they do they have shields. Get, yeah, they do. But they're going to get get some shots off on you before before you can do that. So let me just figure out some damage here. Uh, to my, to, how much do they, do they do here? Okay, um, I'm just gonna roll a handful of dice. Um, okay, so uh, just a second here while I do some math, some of that higher yeah. math, um, as opposed to lower math. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So for those of you out here uh, wondering how one can make your math much easier when playing a role-playing game, you always put your D6s in groups of... Uh, all right. A little, a little pro tip right. right there. There it is, yes. All right, so Chaz, um, so yeah. they, they just opened fire on, on the shuttle uh, with, with their head blasters, and they you have uh, warning lights popping up all over the display. Um, if, if you want to look into any of that... Um, you know you can, but right now you have to. You just have to get off the ship. And fortunately, the 
sublane engines are not one of the warning lights that that, that you're currently looking at. Um, you bring your shields up, and they immediately start deflecting some of those shots um, for the next round. Uh, the ball's in your court. What do you want to do next? Um, flying a ship is basically you can do all the things on the ship you can normally do. You know, um, you you know, if you, you, you get your move action, you get uh, you know, you have your major actions, minors, and so forth. Well, can I start to rise up to get my com to get my companions or Absolutely. while opening fire on the Kalons? Or can uh, you yes, do it all at the same time? That's what I mean. Uh, yes. Well, okay. he can move. He can move the ship. Well, well, the original plan was to shoot the Kalon through the window, but now you got the, these guys. Um, you absolutely can open fire with your ship's weapons on the Kalon. Um, if you want to uh, let them in, though, you're going to have to drop your shields. Well, let, let me get a let me pop off a shoot few shots at the Kalon first and see where that goes. Fair enough. Or a shot or whatever right. you want to call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, um, so what do I roll? That. Uh, you're going to roll a normal proficient strike roll. Um, just to, you know, since, since you, you can pilot the ship, you're going to be fully proficient with its weapon systems. Uh, ten. Okay. Um, that is. Uh, that's okay. So, um, all right. That is going to be good enough, uh, given the nature of the weapon. The gun blasts are really big, and the Kalon really aren't trying to dodge. They're just trying to saturate this thing. Um, and then uh, give me a second strike roll. Um, because you, you actually have twin guns, so there's a possibility of hitting two Kalon at the same time. Okay, so that is uh, uh, a uh, an unclean 20. An unclean 20, huh? A slutty 20, as it were. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> well, I know. All right, you, good. Uh, that I know is you don't like dirty twenty, so I will. I will. No, I don't. Sort of. I do not like. That. I will clean that up by saying an unclean twenty. <laughs> yeah, it has been recently fashionable to call a modified twenty a dirty twenty, and my group has decided to call it a slutty twenty because being a slut uh, at one point meant you were dirty. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, okay, so well, not maybe, anymore. Uh, okay, so what I need you to roll is two d fours for me, Chaz. 2d4. Okay. Yeah. yeah tell me um, what the, 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 the separate numbers. The, 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 okay. One is one and the other one is three. I I like the naughty 20. Okay. So uh, one of the Kalon you hit ends up taking 10 damage. The other one takes 30 and is completely annihilated. Wow. Yeah. Uh, the weapons on the ship are going to do a new four times 10 each, each gun. So, all right. So yeah. So one of those Kalon gets gets hit really hard, and you blew chunks off of him. And then um, you yeah. are rising into position. You're. Uh, do you want to keep shooting Kalon, or do you want to just get 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 your party members free? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more round of shooting the Kalon. Okay, give me a couple strike rolls. However, they they are not going to just stand there and take it. They are going to. Um, They're gonna be annihilated. To. Uh, to yeah. Okay, well, that is a uh, 25. One, one, one shot is a 25. Okay. And the, Oh, the other one's a natural 20. Okay, well, they don't evade those. All right, give me, uh, give me two, two more shots if you would. Yeah, take these suckers down. Well, give me a couple uh, of D4s. That's a, that's a two and a one. Okay, uh, two and a one. Okay, so that um, annihilates another Kalon and damages another one very badly. Um, so that means that uh, one is destroyed. Okay, cool. And then uh, you are fully positioned um, to uh, to um, to help the uh, to to get the party loaded, in. but you are going to have to drop the shields in order to do it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not a problem. Okay, shields go down. Uh, you will be subjected to another barrage of Kalon fire, uh, guys. Um, the you, you'll have to uh, um, s smash something really heavy through the window, like a broken Kalon. And that's and, what uh, I was just gonna recommend. That, okay. Yeah, we need to we need to throw that Kalon, that headless Kalon, uh, through the window so that we we can both escape and get into the shuttle. Yeah. Um, and and what movie is that a reference to? Because you guys didn't even have to take a um, 
uh, a, uh, a a diamond tooth and make make an X mark in it. Oh gosh. And I, I'm 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 saying this, remember. but I suddenly can't remember the name of the movie either. But it starred the, one of the guys from Tremors. Anyways, um, <clears throat> Ward or uh, dumb super spy movie or no, Bacon. I, I'm trying to be cool. I'm, I'm trying to be cool, and I I believe uh, it's not Kevin Bacon. It's the other Remo Williams. Remo Williams. Uh, okay. Boom! <laughs> I rolled for that. There's there there's my deep cut. All right, you guys. That should be my character's the name. There you go. Uh, Leap out on onto the landing ramp, and um, as you do, the uh, Kalon busts through the door, and um, and uh, let's see, any uh, any bad shots here? Okay, uh, you know when you have cats, the last thing you want is to have a D twenty land on the floor. Um, yeah, all right. right. All right, Chaz, let's see how much more damage your 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 ship takes. Uh, let's see. Um, two. Okay, that's that. And then um, and then that's gonna be that. All coming together. So, all right, so you um, so your 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 ship's damage uh, on the hull is sitting at about uh, sixty percent right now. Um, sixty percent integrity, and uh, you, wow. you bring the shields back up, close the door. The the Kalon opens fire, bounces off the shields on the on the shuttle, and you take off out of the bay. Woo! We did it! And, uh, oh wow! Sweet and, emotion. <laughs> and as you do, um, the uh, uh, the um, uh, you guys receive uh, um, the uh, the message about the rendezvous point where you're supposed to uh, the. Um, yeah. Uh, the the fleet is going to rendezvous at the main planet um, where uh, which uh, you guys were talking to um, uh, to Cheshire about. You got to remember the name of it. Um, the planet's name is Sindal, and Sindal. They're, they're going to recover starfighters. Sindal, yeah, they're going to recover starfighters and escape pods at the planet, and then uh, and then at that point they're they're, they're going to go to uh, Quantum and get the hell out of here, and uh, have to. <clears throat> but what about the Redenbacher? Out. Well, the Redenbacher Red lost. lost. Oh, it is for now. No. Been compromised. Just yep. an empty shell that requires yep. a different background. Yes. Yep, there it is. So, uh, Chaz, I need a pilot check out of you since, since you're at the controls. And then, and then you can turn it over to JP. Holy crap. Holy, holy crap. You Is get? that a good crap or a bad crap? That's a bad crap. Oh, no. Oh, did you roll? Did you, I have this, I have this amazing phone? piloting skill, and I rolled two natural ones. Oh, that's a big number I two right there. I rolled a one there. on the D20 and a one on the D4. Okay. All right. So you are, you are flying through the battle. You are attempting to... Um, to uh, uh, to you know get get through all the chaos to be able to 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 jet out of there and unfortunately you have um, attracted the attention of a Kalon interceptor which which is pursuing you guys I'm afraid you're gonna have to hand the uh, controls over to the better pilot now <laughs> okay uh, all right JP you slide in the, in the, into the controls so what's happening is is that while you're um, so you guys are cruising through the star system to reach the rendezvous point uh, you are okay. being Pursued by a, by a by a Kalon ship. So uh, what's going to happen is, is I'm going to roll a piloting check. You're going to roll one as well, and um, you um, you will have to uh, <clears throat> try to um, avoid the, this guy. Um, so what I need you to do is need you to roll a d20 with um, with, with with your proficiency die. Um, so remind me, you, is the that the six sided? Uh, it would be a D4, I believe, but let, let let me double take a quick peek at your class, actually. I want to make sure I've got... I got, um, like, I think double the pilot skills, let's see. I believe, I, I believe that, that that is how, how that works, but I just want to take a quick peek just to remind myself, because the reason why you write everything down is so you don't have to memorize it all. Um, yeah, it'd be a lot. Let's see. Yeah. Well, Was that well, what you were yeah. thinking of, Pilot plus two, yep. okay. agility plus two, D4. That's what I wrote okay, down. so you are so, so you're going to roll two d four when when you roll your piloting skill. Um, 
Okay, in, in so D4 is the pyramid one. Let me get my yeah, other so one. Roll, yeah, so you have two of them. You 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 roll you roll that uh, roll that twice. Yeah, let me bust out yeah, my other diet. Barry sees it says you need to hug the donkey. Oh, I'm hugging it off camera. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I'm rolling a D20 and then two D4s. Yep. Because I got that menu right here. Here we go. Uh, all right, roll it. Oh, God. All right, the D20 came up with a four. And then uh, the other two is four, five, six. So all together, I got 10. With uh, 12? Okay. So um, because of the plus two from, from your stat. Okay, so what happened? Oh, that's true, is, yeah. Is that the... Um, yeah. So okay. So you you, you guys are, are are rolling around the um the you're you're not successfully shaking the 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 Kalon ship, and he manages to get a shot off on you guys, um, but <sighs> colossally misses. It, it 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 deflects off your um off your shields with with uh, or, or basically you just fly around it, you know, and um, so um, oh hey uh, Alex, you're getting some compliments on your artwork by the way. Oh, yeah. Um... yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Did you just color that while you, we were doing this? Yes, that is that's pretty Dang. awesome. Fantastic. He might have that same technology yes. that the receptionist had in Demolition Man, where she could change the color of her nails. Or was that uh, was that, that, um, that was t t the Mars recall. one? Total Recall. That's total right. Recall. Okay, so uh, we we have we have was a, that a, what you were kind of thinking of, Chaz? What? Oh, was that the kind of color scheme that you were thinking of, Chaz? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you. All right. Um, okay, JP, I, I need you to do it again because they're 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 still trying to follow you and, and take you out before you reach the uh, the destination. You are gonna take me out? Well, we got this, you guys. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Okay. Yeah, Same you, thing. Probably check. Hey, Woody. Yo. And, and JP, before yes, you uh, finish uh, your role, mm -hmm. can I um. For my class, can I give him the uh, uh, synergy bonus? You can. You can absolutely do that. Al Alex has the ability to give commands that uh, give people bonuses. He's basically a space bard. All right. So I'll yeah. say to you, JP, of like, um, fl uh, fly to this location because I know that you can do it. All right. I haven't right. known you that long, but I know you're going to uh, be an amazing pilot. You might have to sing it though if you're a bard, if you're a space bard. Okay, so, uh, Alex, we're gonna we're we're gonna we're gonna treat that like the assist. So that's gonna give you a bonus of plus three um, for you, be, JP. Be, because you're also All gonna, right. uh, it, it, yeah. Be, uh, Alex, you're still a qualified pilot as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so yeah, all we're, those we're, points we're treat that like the, the assist action with the bonus, and uh, I'm, I'm adding agility. You said to it. Yes, sir. All right. So that'd be uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19. Nice. Okay. Um, that is an excellent roll, but unfortunately, the K-Line was just a little higher than that and did manage to get another shot off. Those jerks. Building the yeah, suspense. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they, they also met, managed to hit, um, hit the ship. So... Um, Oh geez. Okay. Um, ten. All right. So that hits the ship. Um, that puts you. You, uh, at, at, after that shot, you guys um, have uh, your. your uh, uh, okay. So uh, the ship is now um, at thirty percent hull integrity. Um, JP, oh, I'm going to need you to uh, give me one more piloting check, please. Oh. Maybe this roll will be the. First super good roll. Ready? Here we go. Well, that was a good one. Alex, do you want to give him another pep talk? If I can. Oh, I, I, boom. Um, All right. I, so, well, hold oh, on. Let's see. Give me a pep talk. Uh, well, I believe it, uh, he can do it twice. So, um, J well JP, what, what, uh, what was your roll? Um, 23. Oh, okay. Um, Alex, do you want to give him the what, pep talk? What, do you want you, to what, yeah. The might, twenty. Might well I, did you get the twenty? What do you mean? Was that a natural twenty? Twenty sided die. Did it come up as? Oh, a the, uh, plus my two. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, I got I got twenty one, 
plus my two agility points makes it a 23. So, yeah, no, it was not a natural 20. No. Yeah. Okay. That, that's what uh, I was trying Barry, to assess. Yeah. Yeah. Barry says, try, try leaning lazily to the left. Um, <laughs> uh, I do it proactively, though. I, I, Alex, I'm going to do you a favor. You can tell that he, um, from looking at, 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 at looking at the display, he doesn't need the help on that one. So you you um, you can if save I your do commands. The help would it actually get us away from the attackers? Um, no, no, in order to get away to reach the fleet, um, because like this shuttle could never outrun that ship at, at, at FDL. Okay. Yeah. So I'll like, the, yeah, the, the only escape is going to be the, to to reach the rendezvous. But you guys are closing um, in on it very quickly. Oh, yes, Chaz, I be doing uh, damage control while this is all going on, trying to repair systems and stuff. You you actually can can try to do that. That that's vital. Why don't you give me an engineering check to try to see what what the uh, um you know because you had a lot of damage that kicked in. Why don't you figure out what's wrong with the ship? Oh, uh, well, I got a fourteen. Okay, so you're you're while this is happening, you're, you're looking at all the red lights that popped up on on the display. Um, and what you end up discovering was that there was a there was a natural twenty that rolled when the uh, when we're we're uh, we're shooting at you guys and your quantum rings did get hit. So it looks like it might be a little bit. It's true. He was just talking about that. A little boom action there. Sorry, yeah. guys. <laughs> so all right, so you guys are are uh, reaching. Oh, uh, so do you want to? Is there a, is there a damage control action you want to do? Like, is there something you would like to try try to specifically address repairing, or see if you can get something to work, uh, Chaz? Well, yeah. Well, well. So far, what you've told me about is the quantum rings that they've been hit. Now I'm assuming they, they, they have not destroyed nice. to the point where I can't repair them. That they're just sort of like very good. Frazzled. Correct. Uh, but like, um, so it's me... it it's. It's pretty risky to, tr to try to go to quantum right now. Right. And um, right. yes. What I what, oh, okay. So what other what other systems then that I should be looking into? If you, I mean, it sounds like well, you're telling the, me not to try and repair the quantum drive. No, you you can absolutely try. It's just that the the oh. hit that it got taken is one of those things where like um, repairing it would mean going outside the ship to fix it. So it. Oh, okay. it would be very hard to do right now. It, it wouldn't be happening right now. But um, what 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 you do have access to, like um, like for example, like like the ship has taken um, it's it, it's it's lost about two thirds of its hull integrity. Most of the systems are you know functional, but like there's again there's like red warning lights all over the place. Um, but at okay. the moment the ship is still the hull integrity. Really is, is that, like, yes, the hull Go integrity, ahead. like like on the Enterprise, hull yeah. integrity is like amplified by some sort of a force field. Is that the same thing, yes. same sort of technology here that I can repair the force field and get all integrity back? Well, what would what potentially happen to me is if you, if, well, what, what you could try doing is is redistributing force field energy. I would allow that to try to hold the ship together. Like if, if a, another solid hit could, could take the ship out and you could use the force field to try to keep it together. Um, and so if you wanted to redistribute force field energy to oh. maybe give the ship... Uh, you know, uh, more hit points. That would okay, be a possibility. I'll, I'll do that. Okay. <clears throat> what do you got there? Five. 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 All right. Well, Total then, uh, the, the, okay. Well, then, then, then the, the best move, I guess, at this point would be to essentially layer your, your shields in the back. Um, if you were to like double layer the shields, you'd have no protection in front, but you could, you would at least blunt whatever attack came. Um, you know, came at you. Okay. If if, yeah. if you want to do that. Yeah. Um, all right. Cool. All right. We'll 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 have that happen. So, you guys are reaching the rendezvous point, and you you can see one of the one of the heavy cruisers out there, and the oh, um, we get and, there, and, and, and the heavy cruiser is currently um, under fire from a Kalon battle cruiser, and there is a. Um, uh, you also see another Kalon or a Krill heavy cruiser as well, well that's helping them fight it off. And unfortunately, you guys watch as as your ship ends up getting just carved in half by the uh, by, by 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 the Kalon. Oh, and, those jerks! And, and uh, as this happens, the uh, the Krill uh, see this and they uh, their ship immediately retreats, and they do not wait to pick you guys up. 
treat you my ass. And, <laughs> and you guys are now uh, uh, above the planet. Uh, you can look. You look below. You can definitely see its large continents and oceans. And there is a uh, that Kalon um, assault ship still following you. And uh, you have a decision to make. Um, you can either play it safe and try to go to the planet for uh, um, you know the, and land, or you can uh, try to go to Quantum and and hope things go your, your way. So I will say to, uh, to the two of you of. I do have a safe harbor, a place that we can actually go. Mm. Get us uh, on planet. Do the do the Kalon know anything about this safe harbor in any way, shape, or form? I don't think that they would care too much about uh, these primitives. Uh, and they do know about the rendezvous point. So the rendezvous point's probably a target, well, or could be a target. Well, this was the rendezvous. This was the rendezvous point. Oh, and, we're already uh, there. And you guys, yeah, you. This was it. And you guys are seeing a heavy cruiser go down and and, and hit the atmosphere. Yeah, so it's a, it's a bad situation. But uh, there, will be, I, I, there will be survivors. Uh, not everybody's going to have died. They're they're they they are going to be launching escape pods. But like, you know, there's probably a lot of uh, crew members ending up on that planet. We could definitely get some more resources down planet side. Yeah, and also help those people that uh, might have survived. Mm. Yeah, we we probably should try to help people. Barry is voting for landing on the planet. All right, yeah, let's let the audience decide on this one, or or, or give their uh, Barry says planet. Does anybody have so that might be the... they want to contribute? Yes, because the uh, the audience uh, should have an have an impact on some of the decisions you guys make. Yeah, I think it would make it more fun. Though they're not helping yeah. me out with getting better dice rolls. I don't know how they could. <laughs> well, um, prayer. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, we all do better that. when we all do better. Yeah, we all do better. Exactly. Yeah. So they, if, if so, if they start rolling better dice rolls, so will you. All right. All right. Well, yeah, we have one vote for a planet. What do you guys? Oh, we got another wait, vote for planet. planet. All right, yeah. I think uh, I think we should go for the planet. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, uh, JP, give me another piloting check while you dive dive into the atmosphere and try to avoid this this Kalon ship. Oh, Curtis All right. says go for it. I'm assuming that means D20 planet. with oh, the with the planet. two uh, fours. Yep. yep. It All right. Here we like go. You have, an, you have an overwhelming voting for the planet. All right, we're going planet. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> All right, and, and do I add my agility? You do, yes. Uh, 21. Okay, so you are diving into the atmosphere with this ship, and the, yes. uh, um, the, the Kalon assault ship is following you, um, and as you do, you reach a cloud layer, and you are able to uh, escape um, the... Uh, from from that uh, from the ship at least temporarily uh, it uh, uh, you guys can tell on the sensors that that it's that it uh, seems to have like veered off and it's obviously trying to trying to catch you but it's not directly pursuing you anymore a couple of, uh, blaster shots take off and they go wide you know penetrate through the clouds but they they are they are nowhere near you um, so uh, yeah what could go wrong landing on a planet he's right Mike um, so yeah. here's the question you guys you guys gonna uh, try stay hiding hiding in the um, uh, in the clouds, or do you want to just head planet side as fast as possible? What do you want to do? Yeah, I, I think, think I think we should try to stay in the cloud with as many systems off as possible while we try to repair things. Yeah, something that so, they've done a few times on the Orville. So maybe we should follow uh, uh, the uh, the ship maneuvers that the Orville has taught us to follow. Well, if you guys cut engines, you're going to go into free fall. But that doesn't mean that JP couldn't, you know, restore power before you guys hit the ground. Um, that Pretty good, would, uh, yeah. But, you know. But, yeah, um, me and JP, you know that. Uh, yeah, I call this maneuver yes, kicking the donkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and and uh, and of course, there's also uh, we saw how that worked out really well in in uh, um, Star Trek: Strange New Worlds. Um, all right, so and in so you, BSG. You, you, oh yes, uh, oh BSG was awesome. Okay, so. Um, are you guys gonna 
uh, kick in your Storming New Caprica soundtrack and cut the engines and let the ship fall, and then uh, and um, do, do it that way. Let's see. That would give us what three minutes well, what of do, downtime. Well, it, <laughs> that yeah, two minutes. It would, it, it would it would give you guys a couple minutes, but it would make it look like your ship's dead, and it would certainly increase your chances of uh, of not being shot mm. at. Yeah, it looks like we we got our engines got hit or something like that, and we yeah. got had a failure and are plunging yeah. to our deaths. Hey, Woody. Y- yes, sir. With uh, my familiarity of this planet, yes. I'm going to uh, uh, suggest an area where, uh, if worst case scenario, we can crash land into water. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, so yeah, so uh, uh, Cheshire is pointing out a lake <laughs> that you could that, that you could try to land in. Hope it's a deep lake. It it will be. It will be. Okay. All right. All, All right. right. So, that's a good uh, suggestion. Let's so, um, let's do it if you so guys, guys agree. Wanna... Okay. Yeah. So, so uh, Jay Pulio ki- kills the engines, uh, goes into free fall. Um, I am going to need uh, one more piloting check out of you, JP. All right, here it comes. Wish me luck, you guys. I'm going to need the audience to blow on these die. Thank you very much. Here we go. Definitely definitely did. Jaloja. Got his harmonics there. (laughs) I'm counting. Hold on. (laughs) All right, with two agility Uh, points added. Yeah. uh, Yeah. 21. Okay, excellent. Uh, hey, you, you, you got some blows on the dice, uh, JP. So okay, all right, it, it, it clearly worked. Okay, so uh, using some maneuvering thrusters, you're steering yourself towards the lake. The ships, uh, um, you guys are feeling the G forces. So, um, Chaz, uh, get, give me a couple of in, in engineering checks on the ship. Okay. Try to try to re- restore some systems, um, or reroute power, or whatever it is you need to do. Um. Okay, so that is a 10. A 10? Okay, give, give me another one. First one's a 10. Okay, give me a second one, please. That also... Oh, wait a minute. Some... Uh, six. Okay, all right. Well, you, you're working on it. Um, all right, so um, so the, 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 the ship is plummeting. It's getting closer and closer to the lake. Um, all right, so time to uh, oh, and you guys do um, do see through the viewport the, the Elon ship comes down and just flies off and leaves. Um, quite satisfied that you guys are about to get what's coming to you. All right, JP, I need you to give me another piloting check, please. As, all right, here uh, we go. Restore power and uh, get the ship righted before you you pass the the red line. All right, give me the blows. Here we go. Yeah. Twenty one again. All right. Okay. So JP, you you in engage power, and you you come down and you hit the lake, skim it, and then um and then a uh, um that uh, natural twenty that that hit um you guys uh, you detect a major fracture in the uh, in um in in the drive coils. Chaz, we're gonna need a uh, um, an engineering check out of you. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, oh my God! But you get. Uh, you want to reroll? You want to? You want? You want to spend some luck to reroll? Yeah. There was no equipment malfunction. It. Well, you don't have to brag about it. Uh, that's more like seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, good. All right. So um, you guys are uh, skimming the water, and then uh, you lose power for a second. The ship dips into the water, Ooh. scrapes. You guys are jerked around, and then and then the uh, the engines reignite, and you 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 keep uh, coming, and then um, you're closing in on what uh, looks like some sort of a seaside community. Uh, we're gonna need you to uh, hit the brakes real fast. Was that the left? Paddle, <laughs> the yes, left yes. pedal or the right pedal? <laughs> All right, the left pedal. There you go. Yeah. Hit the brakes. All right. Yeah. Okay. Give me one more piloting check. 
All right, here we go. All right, no blows this time because the last one still count. Okay, good. Twenty-one again. <laughs> it's weird. It's always different numbers, but they all add up to twenty-one. Okay. All right. You managed to just slam on the brakes and stop yourself before slamming into a dock, and then, um, yeah. And then there's a lot of people on the dock just gassed at this. And then uh, uh, Cheshire will indicate a location to park, and uh, you guys uh, move the ship. Um, you fly o over the um, over the community. And then um, uh, at some point, someone has to realize that there's a cloaking device you guys haven't turned on. And then, um, and <laughs> well, I was, like I was about to ask that, and we decided that we were just going to let the ship drop out of the sky. That is true. Um, well, the yeah, because of the damage, the cloaking device was certainly been affected, but mm. uh, yes, well, plus so there might have been uh, still some energy signatures being put off that they could have picked yeah, up. Well, there are a number of possibilities but anyhow uh you guys land um in, in in an open field near an orchard and that is where we are going to cut it on this episode until next time oh the orchard always the orchard <laughs> yeah well there might be a reason for the orchard anyways but it's not Chateau Picard, well that was worry. that was fun i didn't know what was going to happen it was a little Weird at first, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? And then as we got into it, I felt more and more comfortable comfortable to run my mouth and have some weird stuff yeah. happen. We had a little action yep. scene uh, uh, oh, escaping the, the, the shuttle bay. Yeah. How, how about you guys? How, right. how are you liking your first adventure in the Orville Universe RPG game? I think this is going to oh, be a lot fun. of fun. Yeah. Yeah. How, how, uh, how many episodes can can this go for? Just it could just keep going as long as we survive. <laughs> well, that, that, there is a saying: the game must go on. Yeah. So, what it, happens it if we all die? Uh, well, well, then, then uh, um, that series thing. gets canceled because there wasn't <laughs> enough funding, and then we go to uh, Hulu and get a new budget and new actors. Nice, yeah, nice, and get renewed. That sounds well, good to um, me. Renewals. Getting killed is always a, a, a very real possibility. Uh, we'll we'll have to see how it goes. Um, uh, I I personally am not a fan of killing off characters, but there also needs to be a very real threat. And um, yeah, it's, it's really raise no fun the stakes. If you guys, yeah, no fun if there's no stakes. And so now, okay, um, here's another question about that. What what if one of us dies? But the other two are still alive and keep continuing the story. What happens to the dead dude? Well, uh, it depends on what kind of game you're playing. In 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 in, in some in, in some games, there is possibilities of resurrection. Probably not in this yeah. one. Um, Ch Chaz potentially has a way out because he's a um, he's a gelatin, so he could end up turning into a, a younger gelatin. Uh, mm -hmm. But you know, we 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 just address those situations as they come. But it might be that you simply have to uh, pick up a new crew member somewhere. And and as I said, and, there and when a character, a person, a player can become another character. That's kind of cool too. Yeah. Um, well, so like if 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 Alex kills, for example, um, that part of the story would kind of end. But then there are other possibilities for picking up other characters. There's locals on this planet. There's also um, the fact there were other escape pods um, that 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 would have had to come here because it's the only place to go. So you know there yeah. there are some possibilities. But uh, right now we're just going to are... ourselves with, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, we're still right, also hoping to pick up PJ by the next stream and have have a, another player uh, join us. And oh, now that. we just landed on this planet. Who knows who we might meet? Exactly. Well, well, the, the, well. Of course, uh, you know there may be an escape pod with him in it. Yeah. So we'll, we could. We'll see how it goes. All right. Well, all right. Well, I want to thank you guys for uh, for joining the the very first the Orville RPG game. Right here on Talking the Orville, we, the the future of Talking the Orville, at least this new phase, as as we're getting excited for the the upcoming fourth season of the Orville, is all about a community and inclusivity. So this is a great way to have the community come together, not only on the screen here but in the chat, to all work together to play this awesome game. But next week, um, let me look at the calendar here. I think it's May fourth. 
May the fourth be with you, fourth season of the Oroville. We're, I'm going to be doing right here on this channel a live show called We Are the Oroville, where you, the fans, patrons, so I can keep control of who I'm sending messages to, uh, I'm picking five names of the patrons who uh, entered the drawing to join me right here and have a conversation about the Oroville episode uh, twice in a lifetime from season three. Um, a great episode that we're going to be getting together right here on the screen and talking about this amazing episode, but also another uh, wonderful thing that we're doing right here on uh, talking the Orville is another show live show called the union where I'm gathering different leaders in the Orville fandom community. Uh, right now I have Mike Richards, um, his co-host for mission log, uh, Jessica, uh, we're working on uh, PJ wants to be involved. Eric Moran from the Orville fan series, uh, uh, Planetary Step. We'll all be coming here to talk about the very first show will be about season one of the Orville. We'll be going over the entire season together with you guys. Uh, that's also coming up. Don't have the date set yet, but we're also going to be doing um, uh, the Orville RPG every month for as long as we can survive. Uh <laughs> Well, don't know how long it'll be. Uh, my dice sometimes cooperate, sometimes don't. So we'll see if, if my if my die will keep me alive. Uh, but uh, if you guys need any links to click on, it's all in the description below. All We have um, links for Chaz, Alex, and Woody uh, right there if you guys click on and get more information as well as uh, more. Uh, you can enter in the We Are the Orville contest to join me right here next week. Uh, I'll be drawing all the names this Wednesday. Uh, so five of you will be getting links sent to you to join the live stream, which will be on May 4th. And I want to thank you guys for, for, for this experience. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, and, and Woody, you're really keeping it together. You got the whole story laid out and, uh, how do you have to, are you adapting along with the story, uh, stuff yes. coming out that you didn't even write down because of the actions that we take as players? Well, I've, I've been at this a while, so so that's a kind of a, a useful uh, a, a skill I'm accustomed to. But yeah, um, I, I have a firm policy that you only prep fifty percent. Um, so at this point, like I knew how I wanted to start it, and I know where I wanted it to end up. But how we get there is up to you guys, and it's very possible that where I want things to end up may not have happened. And uh, you know, so it's 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 a cooperative storytelling. So I only have so much control over what happens. And um, in, in any game master that has, um, I know this is going to sound very harsh, but any game master that has a very fixed idea of all these great moments they want to create and all these things that mm -hmm. they, they think are going to happen needs to get out of their own way. Um, yeah, because it might not happen. What they're doing because, won't. No, no, because you can't control the dice, you can't control the players, you can only create circumstances that encourage certain outcomes you want, but people still have to you know, agree. I certainly didn't expect an awesome, like, you know, <laughs> get in the shuttle and then leap out the window to a safety. That was, that was great. So well, I was um, trying to think, cool. what would they do in the episode to make it exciting? <laughs> yeah, e exactly. Um, so by the way, um, so on the 11th, I'm going to be out of town. Uh, we're having a show, but I would like to tentatively see if we could pencil in the next episode for the 18th of May, if people are up for that. Um, 18th of May. Confirm yeah, um, we can obviously like lock that in later, but I wanted to tentatively just get that idea out there um, to, to tr try for that weekend. That will probably work for me because I'm a, I'm a Saturday guy. I got my my Saturdays all uh, dedicated to uh, to all Orville live shows. So I'm gonna be busy every Saturday doing this wonderful show and the other Orville shows because we have a, an entire new season to get ready for you guys, and we got plenty of time to to have lots of fun getting ready for it well well you're getting a new season right now we, we that's I, right we this is a new episode. season yes it is yeah this we just fit we, we just fil finished principal photography so that's awesome yeah so good job yeah. to you guys but all right woody alex chaz good time well I'll, I'll see you and your characters next time so I want to say goodbye to the show, to the to the audience. We'll see you. I'll see you next week, May fourth. We are the Orville. I hope you'll you'll enter the drawing to 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 join me right here. Still plenty of time. Uh, we have till Wednesday, <laughs> which is not too far away, I guess. But I'll see you guys very soon. And as always, I hope all your times 
our Orville Tastic Fun Times because we all do better when we all do better. Love you. Bye bye. <laughs>